Hello. Been a few weeks once more. But we're back. And the base hasn't been idle. I believe we have like 12 new Eye of Harmonies. Well, almost. Is stuck? Oh no. Well, we have almost 12 Eye of Harmonies ready to be built, which is basically 200% more. So that should be very nice. Big screen. Wait, what? That's screen. Um, Delano is away for a week, so it'll be just me, unless Cloud joins. But that does mean we have a lot of time to do some tech instead of building. Hopefully we can get a little bit closer to gate at least. Um, I think the next problem is going to be the Universium amount. We got about 3 million in the past 24 hours. But that's nowhere near enough for the gate. I think it needs like 2 billion Universium or something like that. So that's mainly an IO Harmony issue. Um, let's go see the, the subnet which has all the parts. How fast can you craft IO Harmonies now? I don't think it's gotten kind of any faster to be honest. We haven't really done any upgrades. That's uh, what I need to do today. It's primarily an AAL issue. So we, just, we just are not pumping enough energy into our AALs. So I think I'm gonna have to probably double the amount, which is going to be pretty painful, and then maybe overclock them a few times. Because like our energy is doing really, really well right now. Um, okay, let's see. How many do we have here? I have five Eye of Harmonies. Okay. Um, There's five more, but it seems to be stuck. Let me go check on that. And this one is also stuck on the golly frames, I suppose. Wait, what? Why do Neutronium and Ice of Craft? Uh, I could reorder this, I suppose. Wait. Oh no. I think this broke. This pattern has been breaking lately. It's because of the export bus is only exporting one fluid at a time. It fails the input hatch. See if that's a show once more. Um, Yeah. Okay, well, that's a uh, fairly easy way of thinking of the solve, assuming we have the quadruple humongous hatches. We don't. Um, this one I can manually kind of fix by just feeding these packets here. So what's the power delivery like? UEV, oh no. So many things to upgrade. And I think we will also have to like quadruple the amount of machines in this hall eventually. Probably means we're just gonna have to extend it vertically downwards. Your stream save? Uh, yes, I upload them in my YouTube channel in about 24 hours after the stream. So they are all stored there. Because um, Twitch only keeps the watch for a few weeks, so that's why I Put them in YouTube instead. Feels so slow. But we still can't afford UXV wireless energy hatches. Actually, can we? Could we maybe do normal UXV hatches? Are those even a thing? Uh. Oh, they are. Hmm. But then again, yeah, maybe I'll just give up and start using wireless. I mean, it, there's no real point not to, to pick out most of our energy in the wireless set anyways. Uh, will the watch stay on here until you upload? No, it's because I'm playing, like you cannot separate the recording and streaming tracks um, because it always saves the stream. So I sometimes have copyrighted music, which means the watch would be muted. So I record without the uh, music playing on my on my YouTube to get around the issue. But yeah, it's a 24-hour delay, roughly, on the VODs, the Twitch partnership agreement. Okay, well, this is mostly filled. Get this stuff put in there. 
Then we can leave and go check the ADLs. The main issue making the Isle of Harmonies right now is the lack of ADL speed for the Gullifarian parts especially. Because to get one Gullifarian part out of the ADL, it takes like 15 hours or something like that. Something stupid. So I really need to uh, increase the size of the patterns so it paralyzes more and also increase the energy input. Probably just make like a dedicated dedicated few ADLs that do all the Gullifarian parts because you only need a handful of them. So you don't need like the entire 600 parallel. But that means we kind of need the UXV energy hatches. Uh, actually, I could probably use like 1 million of UMVs or something. Hello, Zarathustra. Again, it would be much better. Um, I think I want to do like some a kind of a hybrid, where it's still a universal AAL, but it um, it only does the Gullifreyans. So we, uh, we do lose a little bit of parallel, because you have to switch the recipes, so that's not great. But, um, it means we only need like a handful of them. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. If I have like. Do you even want to parallelize them? They could have like two um, for each part. So we would need eight. Well, no, not eight. Uh, well, I guess if you count for the controller, you would need eight. Too bad, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I want to set up these IF armies first, so. We'll look at that after we get that done. Also, I noticed a problem with the nanoforge setup. Um, we have the transcendent nanites here, which are used to make eternity nanites. But the way I have set it up is that the nanoforge is output into the subnet and then the storage bus then filters everything back to the mainnet, like all the nanites. But what happens when you try to craft this eternity nanite? Well, it inserts the transcendent metal. And that's in the system, and they go straight back to the mainnet. So this recipe doesn't work. And I don't know how to fix that without replacing the entire subnet. I might have to have like a collector cable uh, that goes all the outputs. All right, can we put this on here yet? No. Actually, wait, now we don't have anything but organizations, so now this can go here. Right, do we have anything else that was being um, bottleneck here? Nope. I should order more quadruple among these hatches just so I can fix this permanently. Uh, then maybe? Oh no. Uh, hmm. Oh, <laughs> well, that's awkward. Um. Right, the Eye of Harmony doesn't make this, so it's right in the deep dark mode. Oh no. So I think we, <laughs> we actually need to add more space elevators. Hmm, that's for Infinity Catalyst. Um, I have no idea where the existing miners would be. Like I know I <clears throat> we have a few here. But they might be broken, maybe. Um, oh, they're running. Yeah, but none of them seem to make infinity catalyst. Do this make? Okay, what's the range? 60? What does this make with 60 distance? Uh, indium. Hmm. Have another thing. This might be Tiberium, like a remnant from the old Knackfield days. This, hmm. Oh no, okay. This does make Infinity Catalyst. So either we just don't make enough Infinity Catalyst or, or the ore processing factories are down. We go check the ore factories first, and if they are working fine, then we'll just have to add more miners. Now the Eye of Harmonies are... Well, adding them will only give us more power for now, but we will eventually have to make more of the Astral 
arrays or whatever the name is, uh, the fits parallels, with more universium. But I think you need like, actually I don't know any of the ratios, but I think you need something like four IO harmonies for each of these. Or like, um, well, this actually isn't linear. Goes in steps, but every time you add more parallel, you need like four more IFRMs for power. And the power ones do actually give a little bit of universe, I guess, and uh, other materials, but it's very small compared to the parallels. All right, uh, this seems to be somewhat not working. Hmm. I want to see if we get more here, actually, but if I want to see it, because it goes directly to the subnets. Um, how many other harmonies do you have? I, th I think we still have six. Nobody has been blazing more yet. But we have like 12, almost built. Okay, do you process in physical list? Doesn't look like it. Okay, my render distance is way too high. I feel the lag. There we go. Right, where do I put the infinity colors? Uh, here maybe? Yeah. Right. It does process the infinity colors, but this is this seems to be from the deep dark miners instead. Uh, I don't think space mining makes this variant. It doesn't. How much infinity do we have? We have 13 million compressed infinity catalyst. I suppose the compressors are too fast. Are they going to make those slower, or I can increase the mining amount? Increase the mining amount might be easier. So let's see, do we have any miners ready? Uh, I don't even know the name for the mining thing. Mark two, we have one mark three, and we have like seven more of these. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, uh, some part of that recipe uses wet squares. Hmm. Seems to be the metal one. No, that's bio. Alright, it's highlighted, never mind. Uh oh, there it is, West Bar mainframe. And I guess the recipe is recursive. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's the problem then. Let me just... Let me just swap this out to... Hmm, actually, I don't know. Would BIOS or Opticals be better at this point? I feel like Opticals are way faster to make overall, because our entire thing is optimized to do Opticals. No, I need to find where I had the thing. Um, this is the normal assembling line. Does it really matter? Right. This. <laughs> oh no. Ah, cannot get more infinity because no infinity. Okay, I need to go find out where we make those. Um, Catalysts or compress them. I think it's in the outer crafting building basement. <laughs> Maybe I actually need to make a dedicated spot for it because I feel like everything that's in this basement except for the dire outer crafting tables is so scuffed. All right, uh, what's this? What? Huh? 
So this is a subnet that we try to do Rubik's inventory. Or what? Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> All right, so here we have one compressor, but I think this is for auto crafting. So somewhere else we have the... Okay, this seems to be the thing, yeah, there we go. Um... <laughs> so scuffed. This is on the damn walkway. Uh... All right, let me disconnect this. Now we should start stockpiling a little bit of infinity colors. You know, when are you planning for the next world down to go up? Uh, I was going to wait until we get two gates, I think. I don't see any point in uploading like one now and then one when we get gate when basically nothing has changed except for like maybe some voltage tiers and machines. All right, we are getting infinity colors now, but it's a little slow. What do we use this for? I guess there's, hmm, I actually see what the use for it is. It's not gonna be anything in the ass line, I think. Uh, let's put toss it there as well. Okay, so it does make some ingots for the reason. Uh, what do we do think this for? Rots or foils? Ah, uh, the foils! Sound familiar? Yeah, there we go. Optical circuit boards. Okay, so that's why we did the Infinity Catalyst itself. Annoyingly, we have like 70 million of it in the compressed form, but there's no way to get it out of it. Out of it. But we are getting like 16k per minute, maybe even more. And this is consumed at like maybe 60 per minute, so it's gonna last for a month. We should be fine. Alright, um, while that Infinity Colors is stockpiling, let's go take a look at the ADLs and why we don't have the Valley Ryan parts. Also, we had um, an, an annoying bug on the ADLs uh, while we were away, where they kind of duped the first item um, every time they switched the recipe, which meant that they got stuck all the time. Which is part of the reason why we have 12 eye farm is almost done instead of like 20. As I think Cloud had to manually come unstuck the AALs all the time. But now it's fixed with uh, the dev char of the AALs, so good. Okay, it looks like this is slow. Like how long has this been running? If the server. Tells me things soon. There we go. It's just begun. Oh no. Ah. Uh... But yeah, each slice takes a thousand seconds, and there's 16 slices, so that's like almost 18,000 seconds when you count for the remainders, which is like six hours to get one thing out of the, this. And this thing bottlenecks every single other AEL for doing anything. But yeah. Instead of harmony, infinity colors. Yeah, you can, but it's a tier nine recipe, so I would have to add like a dedicated infinity colors side of harmony. Actually, let me see the rate though. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, that might be worse. That's <clears throat> that's quite a lot. Okay, maybe I'll add one eye of harmony. To run this Anubis recipe. It's like a pretty good thing to do. All right, let me bookmark that. All right, so we can't really order anything <laughs> while these things are making golly frame parts for the next um, six hours. But it's also... Oh, wait, no, I guess it did start like 20 minutes ago, so... Hmm. It did start right when I started the stream. It's... Ah, of course. Because I fixed the Eternity Nanites um, manually. So that's why it started right when I logged in. Makes sense. Yeah, this is something we need to fix by adding more ALs. Um, but you know, it's not stuck at least. 
Um, before I do anything else, let's go set up those eye farms now before I forget it. Now oh, it is all in the all in the main tower. I need to dump that. Are you so little power on them? Because that thing was built when we were like UEV or something. We couldn't afford the power. Like when that thing was built, it consumed four times our power generation when it was running. That's why it only has so little power. It's just basically ancient and it's still making iron families. Uh, right, so we can just take all of this. Um, this I could use an IO part. Manually. We have no hyper activation cards. If we're gonna even craft, we shouldn't need an AL. I don't like this thing using photonically prepared flavors. Mm. Okay, whatever, I'll just do it manually. Uh, I believe we have subnets that um, allows me to make this is... Did I... Wait. Did I actually just take all of it out and open the same MHS and dump it back in? It is. Wait. What? Hold up. Did that recipe just finish? Yes, it did. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just dumped five more. Okay, so we have ten iron farmers to build. Wait. Now, I still don't know how to make the auto build pull from an ME terminal. I tried doing it at some point, but I couldn't get it to work. And then I have people complaining that uh, it pulls some random hatches. I'm like, wait, but I can't even pull casings. Wait, that's empty. And we go to the IO family fields. We should have enough slots, right? I think uh, we have like six here, so we have eight. Yeah, we have enough. I don't have to copy anything right now. And this should give about 200% extra power for us. I mean like 150 trillion extra energy generation. Pretty good. Right. Uh, I guess we'll just start from the northmost section here. One day when the server loads. Oh no, I'm inside it. You see the harmony parallel thing? Yeah, we have one IO harmony that has parallels making most of our universium. As that's the best way of getting um getting a universium in this version. Wait. What? Oh, the yeah, the server just like rubber banded me back here. Interesting. Alright. Time to assemble. Um I had a subnet terminal somewhere. Oh, there it is, the DPF builder. I can switch this to be I have primary builder instead, but that means I have to fly back to the fly back to the start. I would love to know how to get the auto build to pull from this terminal. I couldn't get it to work when I, when I tried. Right, uh, I don't need to remember where I placed this interface that's interfacing with this. I think it's this one. Yeah.
That's why the getting the version is 999 farming with Astral Array in OC. Uh, yes, that's the most energy efficient way. Alright, so now we need lithium parts. That's the wrong terminal, god damn it. Okay, let's just take an entire stack. Right. And we need the controller. Uh, the two humongous hatches. We need the output bus. And output patch. Hmm, what else? Well, the casings for sure. Uh, we port something, I think. Server, don't die. There we go. Right, and then we need the casing, and I have no idea what the name for it that was. It's some energy boundary casing. We need one input bus for the circuit. And that should be everything, I think. Yeah. All right. This is 32 ALs for tier 9 heart parts, 65k UXV. That's probably what I'm going to do as well. Although, yeah, I suppose actually you do need um, quite a few. So having parallels is way more energy efficient than just pumping more energy into it. So I think maybe I'll just convert the uh, Saturn side here to like dedi half dedicated ALs. So that that side can do the very slow pattern, and then the existing north side can do the big ones like the circuits. Now, I don't even remember what layer the controller goes. I think it's this layer, to be right. The question is Can I auto build this if I maybe dump this existing? Um, Crafting terminal to the ground. I don't have the holograms. Uh, need nine of these. It should auto build, but it doesn't. It does not pull from here, and I don't know how to make it pull. Let's see anything. Oh, it was in fluid mode, I see. And this is the entire thing, but it doesn't want to build. And I don't know why. Oh, wait. Wrong tier. Maybe? No magnet. Feels weird. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I'll just build manually. Let me first empty my inventory a little bit. Actually, I can just put this back to my 
Um, bubbles, there we go. And it's inconvenient to do. All right, so. This should build now. It already of building. Uh, why? What? Oh, there's, <laughs> there's a layer block. Oh. Out of casings. Oh, that's one. All right, these are pretty quick to build after I get the rhythm down. They're kind of. Did we have way less time dilation field generators, or did I just talk to something else? Okay, yeah, we do have quite a lot. Okay, no problems. That's one down, nine more to go. Then we have to automate them. Oh, should probably place the hatches as well. Uh, I guess I can just place them when I'm automating it. Anything? Oh, everything. Uh, what? Oh, I, <laughs> I placed the controller too low. That explains things. I can't put anything in there. Ah, uh, pain. Wait, what? Why does it not spell things? Um, hmm. Does it go to the fluid network when I place it on the ground? No. Oh, okay, I don't know what happened there. So done. It won't go. Why is this late pillar even for? I think it's actually the pillar um, Delano used to paste the decorations. So I need to care about that. Also, I'm going to run out of these boundary casings because the pattern accounts for the hatchet being in there instead. That will only be a problem on the last one because I cannot see anything because of the um, analysis here. There we go. These are way easier to build than the DTPFs for some reason. Their dimensions are the same almost, but I guess there's just 
well as blocks as they are more hollow and they are also circular, which is a more like optimized shape for the day bounding box. Yay, achievements. Five, I think. No, it's four. The fifth one. It's actually pretty quick, faster than I thought. Oh, if only we could world edit the automation. I, mean, I guess we could. But it is kind of against the Stargate rules, even though they don't really apply to us because we started the runner before them. Uh-oh, uh... How did this happen? Well, what? Wait, oh, wait. Ah, uh, I know what happened. So, when I took things away from the ME chest where it dumps the finished Eye of Harmonies, um, I, when I place it back in the main network, the ongoing craft um, saw those as like being finished Gallifreyan parts and then dump, dump back the craft in there. So, they, we have them, but they are kind of stuck in the ALs for the next six hours. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, that means we cannot do more eye harmonies until we they else finish. So we'll have to redo that in a few hours. But we have five five um fully formed ones, so we can at least set those up. After that, I'm gonna have to start working on the ALs. So I need the hatches now. Actually, I'm not sure what kind of automation are we using right now. I think the power eye farmers are still using my automation that's tied here. Yeah, these are fine for the power ones, but the one of these was the Parallel Eye of Harmony, I guess this one. Yeah, this has no cables going. Oh, well, it's a green cable. And for some reason, Cloud decided to put the automation under here instead of inside the room. I don't understand why. But this is the Parallel Eye of Harmony, and that, um, that uses the Velar Plasma instead of the Helium and Hydrogen. Now oh, I need very specific amounts, why we need a different automation for it. Um, but yeah, I think this is the only one we need. Oh, hello, 189 gigabytes. Thank you for the sub. Uh, new name. I haven't seen you before, I don't think. Thank you for the support. But yeah, the... I don't think we need more than one parallel eye of harmony unless we want to like get more infinity callus or something. 
doesn't look crazy built. Yeah, we've been trying to make the best base possible with this um, base. So we have quite a few nice builds. And if you are here for the first time, you probably haven't even seen half of them. Uh, anyways, I need to grab some channels. Mm, I don't think I need this terminal anymore. But this is awkward juggle I need to do to get this terminal back to the subnet. Uh, I'm going to put it in the backpack. I think. Uh, now I need the packet decoders. Let me just go inside here. Don't fully remember what I need. I can do it. Places. Um, filters for the item conduits. What's the WhatsApp handle date 24? Okay, so that's the old base over here. Everything in the new base will be new for you, I, I suppose. Uh, we have 16 filters, we need more. Actually, they are like MV3 tech, so completion free. Actually, you know what? We'll just make like a million of them. Well, 100k, I guess. Alright, um, do you have any cable back here? No, it's just two wireless next to each other. I need, uh, I've already completely forgotten how I set up the automation. I think there's like, yeah, there's two wireless here. This links to the, wait, is it two? Ah, yeah, okay. So this goes to the digital security subnet. And this goes to the main net. This is the fluid output. I'm starting to remember how this damn thing works. So we grab this for the main net and this for the subnet. Subnet goes here. And we can actually put another one here and put that in this spot. There we go. Orders. Interface. I think I had a memory card for this at some point. Uh, would it be this one? Yeah. Okay, then we need the item conduit. And we should have a probe for that. Wait, do we need the filters? Oh yeah, I do need the filter to filter the hydrogen or helium. Oh, where's my probe? Uh, does this have to correct? Yeah. The other probe should have the output side. Those are custom texture packs. Yes, I made the washer and the stuff set up edition myself. And I guess the memory, well, this uh, the better memory card. Best memory card. I made a Python script to animate them. I think they turn out really nice. That's not right. Uh, that's not right. Already extracting. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which side does which. I have to play again with exams. Unfortunate. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my uh, master's thesis position to actually respawn. Hopefully within this week.
Right, this is still missing the um the storage bus, that's why it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Making this automation takes longer than actually building the entire eye harmony. Kind of weird. Helium, helium, good. Alright. And now we can go here. Where's the hatches? So items go on this one. Okay, um, I should really place the hatches on all of them, otherwise my inventory is going to be a constant war zone of moving things around. Let's do that. Output among us, I have two. And there's the hatch, uh, input bus. I think that's all. Oh, input hatch, input hatch. I used to have the input bus um, under this wireless connector, but it's kind of awkward to access. So I guess I'll just place it here instead now. Uh, I already forgot which one was which. Uh, I think this one was the Thumbnail. No, this one, yeah, this goes further away. Okay. So this takes the items and this takes the fluids. Ah, uh, is it downloaded from a Discord? I think it's not in my Discord, but it's on my GitHub. Let me just find it. I remember um uploading it somewhere. Let me see if I have it. Oh, it looks like I actually, <laughs> actually never uploaded anywhere. Hmm. So yeah, it's actually not available. Did you I never saw else work with opticals? Yeah, yes, I do. They work perfectly. Uh, what was I doing? Right, I need cables. The only issues we had with U UALs was the um, the dupe bug, but that's not because of the automation, that's just a code issue, but now it's fixed now. But um, in 2.5.1, the UALs do have a bug in that they dupe the first item which breaks automation. You need a custom chart for it. Okay, so the moment I place these hatches, um, it's going to start eating all the all the packets, which means I actually do need to put the planet in here first. And I think we have enough of them. What? Mm. How do, oh God, how do you get this stuff? Oh, don't do me like this. How many do we have? Four, okay. I need one more. Hello, speaker. Okay, um, it should start as soon as I put this down. Oh, wait, uh, I think I'm missing the energy. I need a neutronium cell on this object. Completely forgotten how to automate these things. And now the thing is actually fixed, so it's called Neutronium instead of Creative Stuff. We only have four. What? Why do we have nothing? I mean, it's not about to make a target for balls run. Yeah, this car kind of slowed down a lot. People just stopped playing, so we haven't really been actively going for it, most of relying on passive automation. Right. 
to start. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's one more eye of harmony running. Alright. Um but I do have to fix the pumice and whatever the other ore, rubidium ore, I think was. Where the hell do we get that stuff? How's it going? Oh, fine. I wish we had a gate, but alas we don't. <laughs> this is New Year's and uh, I actually should be getting an answer for my master's thesis position in about a week, so hopefully that happens. Unfortunately, it might mean I won't have as much time to stream, but we'll see how that goes. Who is R? Only available through the deep dark, I assume. Okay, um, are we avoiding it possibly? But we do still have the miners in the deep dark, so we should be getting pumice ore. But it might be just going into like a trash can or something. I don't know how Cloud got it in the first place. The gate even crafting? Not even close. <laughs> We are lacking a lot of info upgrades, like we need lots of universium and we have to make UXV ass lines to make the things cheaper in the first place, which takes universium is, um, on its own, right? So there's a lot of things to do still. Why am I inside the stone? Come on server, just give me the world, please. I don't like this. We still have just three hearts. I will always have three hearts. I don't, I don't eat food, and I also like, manually took away the three, uh, seven hearts, and I can always get them back by eating these soul fragments, but why? It's not like you need hearts to beat this game. Alright, do you have pumice ore inside you? No. Hmm. Avoiding it. Hmm. Where could this stuff be going to? We must be producing it because we got it from somewhere. Um. Goes in here. Okay. Where is this unit then which is even linked to? Uh, okay, I think I need to go to the deep dark. I'm trying to remember where we even have the portal. Uh I think it's in the main tower, possibly. Really so lost. Yeah, there it is. All right. And I'll have to wait for two more minutes for the server to catch up before I can actually go in there. <laughs> I found the source. There we go. Okay. Uh, looks like Cloud had the same issue. Hmm. Now, you could add like a um, storage bus so this is always seen by the network. But I don't think we have any connection except for this one here. What is this? This is the deep dark. This is where we get some various ores from. Okay, let me just empty this, I suppose.
<laughs> Why is this subnet so huge? Completely overkill. Did you get all ours from space animators? Not quite all. Like, for example, these Rubidium and Pumis ores are completely useless. They have no um, no use in any crafting recipes. Like, no, um, the dust are in that form. That's why they are used to make the deep dark um, blocks. Because they are only available from deep dark. Alright, that should be enough for quite a while. There are like 20 of these now. <sighs> okay. Um, I think the ore processing subnet automatically exports the things um, to the ore, ore subnet. Ah, uh, pain. Okay. Um, how do I do this? I think I switch this to a compressed chest. And I wait for it to fill a little bit. And then I just take it back to the um, overworld and put a storage bus on it. Ah, but that's also going to import. I think I'm just gonna have to manually disable the, um, the bus that's pulling all the ore from the mainnet. Oh, okay. What are those two ores for? The deep dark planet block that you use to run the IO farming. First person on image chest with a high priority while seeing only those two ores in the singularity, isn't it right? That still doesn't work because the export bus is pulling from the same network as the as we use for auto crafting. So if you want the auto crafting to actually see the ores, um, it can also be pulled from. So there's no way to make it without disabling the export bus. Or I guess the well, if the export bus is low enough, then it kind of works because you can just kind of over overload the speed. But I feel like just to say things extra bus is easier because I know where it is. But, uh, I can just place another press just here. Now I don't remember if the wash or left click also avoids the contents of the compressed chest. I don't think it does, but uh just to be safe, I'll just use my hand. Um, um This doesn't seem to be work. <laughs> we have an axe. Uh healing axe doesn't work. You have the Talbium axe. Infinity Lumber axe, that should also work. There we go. Right. The let me see the drive situation here. Uh, okay, fluids are fine, but items. Items are also totally fine. <laughs> Now the export bus that's taking all the ore is in the basement of the ore processing um, building. I don't know how necessary that is. Like, that's primarily there to get rid of all the like crushed ore and random ore people put into the AI network, just like out of trash. But we don't really manually mine anymore. So. This one here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello, Treefold. I haven't seen you here, I remember at least. Hello, hello, and happy new year to you as well. The Treefold logo is actually still in the main building. I don't know if you've seen it. I think it did. Comment on it. 
Ah, uh, okay, this is just a lot of stuff. So the easiest way of disabling it is to just do that. There we go. Like now we should be able to put a storage bus in the mainnet and make some deep darks. Hmm. Do we have any free channels? So we have one channel, which is all we need. I put this to extract only. Now we should see the promise or and should be able to make like 50 of these. Nice. All right, back to our farmers now. Hmm. I could also order the laser hatches I'm gonna need for the AALs in advance. Uh, we cannot really do UXV yet. I would like to give like a hundred, actually wait, no, a hundred trillion each would be a way to overkill, I think. So I'm gonna have 128 of them, I think, for the Galithraeum parts. And that would be... Not 28 times, hmm. If we do 256k UMV, a lot of numbers. So that's million, billion, 4.3 quadrillion EU per tick is <laughs> more than I want to give to things. Hmm. Is it? It's not going to be constant. Maybe we'll do 65 case. That sounds more reasonable for the time being. All right, uh, 65k targets. We have, wait, where's the source? Do we not have the source pattern? Oh, wait. I guess these are used for something then? Ah, there we go. So, we need to pattern the source them. Don't think me, yeah, we can't really afford the UX fee yet, so I'm gonna have to use the UMVs for the time being. These are 9 trillion EU each. So, 9 times 9 times 128, it's gonna be 1.2 quadrillion. Which is still like 8 times our power generation, but. It's not like we're gonna be crafting Eye of Harmonies permanently, right? Right, laser source number five. We could probably do like 16 at a time. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty cheap overall. Shouldn't be a problem. Number five. Uh, Mega Assembler. This 1x. Let me bump that to 16x as well. Uh, that's too much. Don't run out of power when you have to kickstart the base. I actually don't know how hard it would be. I guess the problem is that to get more power, you need to get the Eye of Harmony to run, which is like a few. Deptilion EU just to start it. So you would have to somehow get that amount of energy into the network so you can start being power positive. <laughs> I don't even know how you would do that. Actually, yes, I do. We, we still have the NAC fuel up. So we could um, switch that back on. Except it, it wouldn't even be that hard. I don't think about it. All right. So, ah, uh, hmm. The question is, do I want the entire south side of AELs to be 65k UMV? I probably could, right? There's no real point in having half of them be like separate. Let me order 320 of this. Why are we so poor? <laughs> what? Oh no.
how are you distributing power? So you can see these like large roadways we have here. We have laser network going through them. Um, these are one million amps of UMV, which is 101 trillion roughly. But that's actually starting to be kind of low at this point. It's less than our, we produce. So we're kind of slowly switching the extremely high energy things to use wireless network. So in that, uh, in these series, you have these wireless laser hatches. Oh, well, actually, I guess they're not laser hatches, but normal wireless hatches. And they take the energy directly from the wireless net, which is also where the IO is put the energy in, and I also draw from. And also, I had to modify NIDAS to show the wireless network, because like at this point, the you can see this one number here, uh, which is our actual like physical energy storage, which connects to the laser. And you can see it's getting actually it's getting drained in real time, and then it gets filled every five minutes. But our actual main storage is this left leftmost number here, which is the wireless um, amount. You can keep with lasers and whatever shop up with wireless. Um, so most of the auto crafting is probably gonna keep using lasers and also the fusion reactors because those will never use more than 100 trillion um, unless we start doing the stupid things with the cheap deposit machines where I have eight wireless on them I really don't like that mechanics so I don't think we're gonna do that um, but at some point we're gonna have to switch to ADLC to use wireless which is actually probably today um, Pump assets are still going to be running wild, uh, lasers for a while, but at some point we might have to switch those to a wireless as well when their power use, use becomes too high. Yeah, slowly the laser grid will become more and more obsolete, unfortunately. But it has been going pretty strong for like, what, 80 years at this point, so... We could still upgrade it to have like parallel laser lines, but that, <laughs> that's a bit finicky. Anyways, what I was doing, right? Ah, uh, the seaweed, right? I can't really craft anything without the seaweed. So, how do we get the extract? U of T time it is, by the looks of it. All right. That's actually the recipe we should focus, I think. Actually, me. Hmm. Isn't this the same thing, basically? Yeah, so how much is that? Oh, actually, you should be focusing this seaweed part instead of the extract itself. Because extracting it is very trivial. Huh. All right, well, let's go set up, the, set up that Q of T. I think we had one extra uh, that we didn't hook up yet. If not, then we won't be in trouble. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. This is why we'll just put USB wireless hatch on AT and then just quite cable to distribute the machines. Uh, it does work actually, yeah. But there's no real benefit, I suppose. Well, actually, mm, I guess you can use like some a 1 million of UXV energy hatch on an AT, and then distribute it using like UMV lasers, that might work. Is a seaweed bee, if you have none of those, maybe use them. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I knew how to do bees. We also need to do a Sunarium bee, I think, at some point. Ah, uh, wait, close. Don't. Well, something we were running out of. But apparently it's not Sunarium. <laughs> Okay, um, anyways, seaweed. Yeah, we definitely don't have to. Oh, wait, no, the bee. Um, I remember looking at the bee before. The bee is very bad. So it's uh, primarily meant for the no rocket runs or like sky block. It's so much worse than just doing the like seaweed broth, even. Yeah, but uh, because it's just a QFT, no problem. I need to figure out how to. Loud? Why? Why would you do this? Uh, come on! This is illegal. This mini LSCs are illegal. 
Especially because we have a laser grid like... Oh, I guess it's not right here, but it's pretty close. Ah, yeah, we have... <laughs> we have a laser grid right here! But the man decided to use a mini LSC instead. I hate this so much. Why is this a mechanic? I wish this did work. Um... Okay. What's the power level? UIV. So, 64 amps of UMV should be enough. It, uh, this should have plenty of channels, yep. So we need unknown liquid color. What is this stuff? Yodium, I think? Yodine, yeah. Right, I don't think we have this, so we're gonna have to pattern it. Oh, the sure one, oh no. And the Transcendent Melanonites is exactly the thing that breaks the Nanoforge, so I'm gonna have to manually <laughs> I'm gonna make update this the craft of this. Ah uh... well, come on the middle intensifies. Just rabbit hole goes deeper and deeper. Alright, back to the nano for I go. Maybe is it them? Crib? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna rework the entire nano forge array because of one recipe. Actually, wait, I, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, that, mm, even if I switch to cribs, it wouldn't really help um, because cribs don't handle the output. Actually, wait. I guess it would help. I mean, Cribs, why are you so good? Stop being the solution to everything. I hate it. All right. Uh, no, no, it's... Wait. Are you still working on Eternity No Nights? No, it's not running. So this just got stuck somehow. Uh... Transcendent Metal Knights. Okay, let me make like a thousand of this. Now, how did we set up the thing here? Because I think we're going to have to um, replace the output bus. With like a collector network that goes to the mainnet directly. Um, not too hard. Need to reroute a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And now, do I do it now or later? Uh, we have 32 of these, so it's gonna be two full channels. So it might make more sense to actually just have like a second subnet here just for collecting the outputs. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. That's a connector. Mm. Black might be a nice color for this. We need a uh, energy cell. No nice place for it. Unless I place it like here. <laughs> that works. Kind of scuffed, but. All right. Um, I can do either eight in total or. Or, but I think as it's a subnet, it doesn't really matter how many we have. Like 
I just want to do eight. All right. Then we need to put the wireless on this side somewhere. Uh, like this. Um. Actually, oh, hold up. There's a perfect slot for it right here. Huh. Uh, I could blink them while I'm going around. Why not? Okay, let's put water away for the time being. Two, three, four, put this away for now, I don't accidentally rebind anything. Two. Three and a four. All right. Uh, and each layer is eight. So we can use a normal cable as a use of dense. Um knowing that I'm gonna have to make a little kink here on this red cable. Um unless I move the casing. But I don't know how much the controls are going to like if I move the casing. They are kind of finicky getting the form, so I feel like it's almost easier to just move the cable and try to move the controller. Ah, uh, the hatch, I mean. I needed some red dense cable. Yeah, that's not too bad. Take a wrench to my hot bar just to make things a little bit easier. Can I right with this? No. Oh, this works. The calls are so slow. It used to be 64 times faster, and they nerfed it. Kind of silly at this. Uh, I guess it's fine. Not like anyone's ever gonna be here looking at these cables, anyways. All right, the eight channels. Yeah, there you go. One down, seven to go. Uh, let me just actually do the entire black rip first, and then we can just quickly do the turns. After the three of them, a turtle EU each and still slow. Maybe your expectations of expectations for them are just too high. I think we have ten at two trillion, and I don't think they're, they're even the slowest part of our hour crafting. Well, that's probably because we're just giving way little, way too little power to our AALs, but we did plan for. Or wait, how many do we plan for? All right, we have twenty of them running at two trillion each. And we plan for eighty of them, right? Oh, I remember. That's another thing I'm gonna have to upgrade at some point. How many things to do? 
My that's still down. Very wild how many people are getting gates lately though. Like I swear every two days or so we get new new a new person getting a gate. Like what? What's causing that? Wild. Right, I don't think it's because the gate is easier than before, because that's not really the case. Might just be the popularity of New Horizons, like, um, I thought, yeah, that actually is failing, like, uh, roughly two years ago or so, New Horizons started getting more popular, uh, especially in the PTB subreddit. So that might be, like, kind of a time delay of people who started playing back then and are now actually getting the gate, possibly. Right, that's three down. I think there's one more on this layer. Then our reputation. I feel like the Stargate reputation has been there for a lot longer though. Like we've had the Stargate be the pinnacle of modern Minecraft for at least three or four years almost. It had the same reputation back when nobody had crafted the gate even. Which was like we had a half years ago almost at this point. And we we had a long period of like maybe ten people having this gate role. And then like it's just within this year alone we've had at least thirty people get the gate, which is just wild. It's like three hundred percent more than the entire last three years or so. Part of it is because uh we have a lot of teams. Like I know at least three or four bigger teams, like of like three or four people who got the gate. Ah oh, shit. Uh Please don't break. But it's still doesn't explain like the sheer amount of uh, single player players while getting the gate. I need more dense cable. And these upsides. Maybe all those about three are most likely in groups and are started at fairly similar time. Um I would say it's about half and half on the groups and non-groups. Like we have like the B run had something like six people or uh, more. But there's been a lot of like two or three player groups as well, yeah. But then I've also seen like almost ten solo gates, which is as wild. And then again, everyone else, actually, uh, we were the first group Stargate um, back when DTPF was the last machine. So before us, we had like, I think, seven or eight gate rolls, and all of them were solo players. But yeah, it definitely be become a more communal game, <laughs> with more group playing, which makes sense because of how many tasks there are. So you always have something for everyone to do. Except for maybe in the ultra late game where it's just waiting for order crafting, which bottlenecks everything. I blame Eye of Harmony one thing, OC bug abuse. But you can't blame that alone because that thing still did make gates harder than the DTPF variant. Because, like, you had the DTPF before as well, but it. What am I saying? Um, the DTPF gate, I would say, was the hardest gate overall. Like, Gameplay-wise, but not material-wise. So you still need uh, at least 10 times more materials just for the new iPhone gate. So like, it's not easier in the sense of materials. But um, my opinion is that the quality of life might be the thing. Because the game pack has become so fluid to play with all the A2 improvements and things like that, that it's, it's really easy to kind of just keep going as you're not really fighting against the game mechanics anymore. 
It's more the numbers that you're fighting against. Like, did, um... People take it for granted, but Fluid AE did not exist 12 months ago. Which is wild. Uh, is this done? It's done, yeah. Yeah, another thing about it, actually, <laughs> Fluid AE might be the single most influential thing that allows people to make gates. Because you had to juggle the cells before, uh, like the fl volumetric flasks, and it was such torture every time you had to encode anything that had fluids in it. And yes, the DTPF gate existed in an era where we didn't have Fluid AE, which is like, how did anyone do that? <laughs> Uh, do we have any more black cables? We don't. But yeah, actually, I had the same discussion in the Discord a few days ago, where um, I, I said that the, right, that the, the workflow of getting the gate has gotten very straightforward. Like, the most of the, the gameplay struggle, or like the new things you have to learn and things like that, are in between. EV and maybe UIV before DTPF. But the moment you get cribs, you can in theory just keep repeating everything you've been doing before uh, with cribs and just increase the numbers and you can gate eventually. You don't really have to learn anything new. Eye of Harmony, yeah, maybe, but like that's not very hard after you figure out the automation ones. Of course, everything applies to, well, the same thing applies to all other automation as well, but that's just one machine you have to learn. Uh, in the like the 500 hours that it takes to go from like no no eye of harmony to eye of harmony, that's a uh, number I pull, pulled out of my ass. But like, it's the point. so there's there isn't really any automation difficulty in the late game. I feel, and I blame Crips for that, which is why I try to use Universal. <laughs> All right, I've completely lost track how many I've made at this point. Uh, This one is not done. Challenge playing New Horizons with UV gate with no fluid AE. <laughs> yeah, I don't think no fluid AE is possible at this point because the fluid numbers have gotten so humongous. Like you need trillions of fluids. There's no way to move trillions of fluids unless you digitize them. Please don't remove the crib. Unfortunately, I don't think I have that much um, power or say in the matter. At least the Eye of Harmony got um, the one big bug got nerfed. Because that thing was... It was definitely trivializing the intended gate difficulty in this patch. Of course, it's still... Okay, what's happening to the server? It will do good. But yeah, the Eye of Harmony gate definitely made this variant of the gate easier than intended, but it was still harder than the DTPF gate in like um, amount of time commitment, I would say. Hardest gate was one with UAV, but still do not have any quality of life stuff existing. Um, so is that the DTPF gate? I think, yeah, that's you. I oh, know, wait, DTPF is UIV. So the gate before DTPF, I actually don't remember that era. Or do I? Hmm. Yeah, actually, DTPF gate is the one right after that gate. Um, but I wasn't really a gate tier player back then. So I don't really remember anything about the gate uh, back then. The Stargate I made was the one after that. So when Bio Circuit was max and before Mega ABFs. Wait, so it has, there has to be a gate tier, bef like it used to be UV, but that's probably not the tier you're talking about. That's like, uh, the first gate that's ever made was in UV, 
um, in the what's the base name again? Tuston and Bot made it. Uh, Complex, I think, was the base name. But yeah, the, I think there was like a nerf to gate after that, and that's what that's the theory you're talking about. What circuit is the best to use in late game? Um, probably opticals because you have to scale opticals so much. They just end up accidentally making them the cheapest circuit, even though materials-wise they're not. Uh, materials-wise, bios are the cheapest in my opinion. Will bees ever get the nerf they deserve? I doubt it. This game has nothing but power creep. What we really need is a uh, EU number nerf in the late game. I don't know, version number just before Bartfork started to pack. No iOS for CV, no void miners for Inch Catalyst. Um, okay, so that's really old, uh, about three and a half years. I actually did look into this a, f a f while ago. So that was the UV gate where all the components of the gate required UV materials. And nobody made that gate before Bartworks because void miners were the only thing that pretty much allowed you to get enough resources for the gate. So it was only a few months after the void miners were added. Or the first gate to appear. Yeah, that's really wild. No megas. I'm pretty sure Mega EBF was before Void Miners, though. Because Mega EBF was the first mega, and it was one of the first things Smart Forks added. I'm out of 10 scales again. <laughs> I need one more. Alright, I think that is all. We can double check by checking all the connecting connections here. Starting should say eight. Yep. That is fixed now. Um but you have things in it that you shouldn't have. So either it's still working. Which it is not. Wait. Huh? Something has shut off. Weird. Well, it is still working. It is slow. Well, slow. It just takes time. It's very slow in the grand scheme of things. And everything should be extracted properly to the output. So you just scan the output bus. I forgot to reset the filter in the storage bus. Um, actually, I don't think we even need the filter anymore because this is only connected to the output buses. So we can just get rid of all of this. There we go. You can write this plastic, all the current quality of life stuff on the version that's not even combat frame. Ah, uh, yes. Let's go to the World of Warcraft route. Just, I mean, you kind of can do that already, right? Like the available... Oh, right, all the quality of life stuff, right? I see. But then you get into the argument of what is quality of life? Are creeps quality of life? Um, right, uh, the QFT, which needed the algorithmic something. Oh yeah, those are done. Then now we can go set that up. Uh, but we were completely out of infinity catalysts still, even though... Oh, right, the miners. Which... Wait. I'm starting to remember. We need the Infinity Catalyst to make the uh, miners, but something is consuming all of our Infinity Catalyst passively. Oh, wait. It's probably a QFT. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess I have to turn this QFT off um, so I can start more miners. Not having to deal with extra cells is quality of life. <laughs> True. Honestly, A to FC is quality of life. Even though it's probably the most powerful addition we've had added to the pack. Um, and this one QFC actually be using so much of the uh, parallels. I, I guess they do have parallels. Wait, is it even this one? No, this does something else. Oh, is it? It's one of these. Um, not this one though. Oh, it has to be this one, okay. Um, so this is getting the forms of U and V. One second. There's no way this is consuming all of it, right? Unless it might be. Let me run this once and see how much it beats. Yeah, like 3,000, okay. So this one thing was consuming all the Infinity Catalyst. All right, well, we'll have to wait a few minutes to get enough to start the, um, the space mining things. Or I could add a pattern to macerate this stuff. But that seems a little excessive. Well, level terminal. E level emitter or sugar? Oh, huh? here <laughs> and why? And we're doing ass line with passive fluid stuck against this factory. I remember doing ass line with open computers. I think that was pretty cool, but it wasn't reliable. So I was about this is my slow. One of the biggest quality of lives after IATFC is void protection and multi, so you don't have to spam covers. That is true. Um, we actually made our Stargate without void protection, so we had to void product every single machine we had. That was fun. Right. Um, I guess while I'm waiting for the Infinity Catalyst to accumulate, it's still being consumed. What the hell is consuming it? Uh, it's being consumed in like chunks of 4,000 almost. We don't have any bacterial watts, so that's not it. Not a biolabs running. We shouldn't be using mutagen anywhere. EBF is only autocrafted. Chemical plant. No, this is just done in a QFT now. So the only two options are the neutronium compressor and the QFT. I just turned down the, off the QFT that should be consuming it, so what the hell? Unless we have two of them. That might be really just well. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, found you. Didn't fix transparent UI yet? Uh, yeah, I haven't touched transparent UI after the update. Wait, hold up. This this QFT doesn't even do anything related to the Infinity Catalyst. When did I t turn this off? <laughs> All right. This was the culprit. With this illegal um, mini LSC as well. And I hate this so much. And I hate that this is the meta. This is like actually the optimal way of. Uh, delivering energy to the most machines. Hate it so much. Not before. I guess this is the cheapest way of delivering high amounts. 
Of course, later on you get the high amplitude wax bees, but those take the universium, so. All right, we have half of what we need. I think we can go automate one more Eye of Harmony while we're waiting. I should add the Infinity Catalyst Eye of Harmony. <laughs> Actually, do that because I think I have to go to another planet to do that. So, uh, I love the server being slow. There we go. Actually, do I even need to add the miners if I add the Eye of Harmony? I guess they kind of do the same purpose. Do you think there will ever be a cheesy plus with single block or a cheesy plus with multi-block replacement for left lane boxes to radium into a radon? I doubt it. Uh, that's such a small part of the game that uh, like you don't have a need to do that. You get radon so much easier from plutonium. I don't see any dev really being annoyed by that too much. Right, uh, what was the thing I needed? Was the Anubis. Ah, shit. This is the tier 8 planet, I think. Tier 9, which is the mothership, which... Don't tell me I have to make the mothership. Oh, no. Please tell me you can teleport there using the space elevator. <laughs> the other change for a game is looking for texture. It's looking for nay single recipe in assets correct text. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean I have I have the entire thing automated using a Python script. So it's just a matter of me running it against the new mods folder. All right, travel into so Alpha Centauri. This Amura. Yeah. We need to find Anubis from here. Tech, Matt, Amun. Oops. No series. Ball. The hemp belt. I know this. Launch. There we go. I think I can just slam to the ground without any problems. Yeah. All right, what did I need? Uh, crafted dust and basalt. Mm. How do I get basalt? Do I have to smelt this or something? Ah, okay. Oh. I have very limited energy here. And stay here for too long. How am I taking damage? Ah, oh, I'm actually going to smell this, I guess. Wait, this gives me dust. Can I... 
Oh, God damn it. I need to right click this. Uh... Yeah, let's just get enough for two, just in case. All right, and we should have enough basalt cobblestone. Yeah. And we wait another five minutes for the server to catch up. There's the threefold logo still standing. I think it'll all get replaced after we get the gate. Because one of the gates is gonna go in here. Um I'm trying to think which one is easier. Finding a multi smelter or just making a pattern for making muscle. I think the pattern is easier. Easier option here. <laughs> what are these pattern designs even? 64. I guess I tried to fix some of it by making the 262k. But I think our entire base is still running off a single multi exposure with like one amp of UIV or something. Alright. Uh, we don't have Infinity Catalyst 4, unfortunately. I think I can go yoink some away from the ore processing before it processes it. I don't want fish to one cooked fish. <laughs> Critical recipes. <laughs> yep, that's the backbone of our entire operation here. Making cooked fish. Alright, it was in this subnet. I only need a few stacks. easy enough now annoyingly this um recipe is tier nine okay. it still uses okay never mind there's no annoyance it uses a uh, evenly divisible amount so i don't even have to switch any of the automation around i can just straight up change the um planet inside some of the ad farmies didn't pattern it yet I'm slightly annoyed how slow the um this new interface terminal is. Like uh, it's better for the TPS overall, as when you have it open, it actually doesn't like the server. But when you open it, it takes it stores the server and takes so long. I kind of preferred the old version where it instantly showed everything, but did half your TPS. Easier to use. Okay, let's make like three of these. Okay, let's make like two of these. There we go. Um, now this should also be power positive. Yeah, it is power positive. So we can just switch some of the energy making I have harmed to run the Anubis recipe instead. And I'll passively get us Infinity Catalyst. Um, I actually don't think we have Infinity Catalyst in our digital singularities. We need to go at that before we flood our entire network with that. Which would be that page, so it displays only externals per page. But then that's. Mm, I guess if it. Yeah, if it. Um, if it didn't affect the search function that much, then that would work, yeah. Because it is true that it's very, like. It's very inefficient right now when you go in there and it basically fetches every single pattern when you need one out of the 10,000 you have. If you could somehow make it only fetch the patterns you need, but I guess hmm, 
Like, it still needs to know all the patterns to do the search queries. So I don't know like if it would be any more performant, uh, even if you didn't just display all of them. I don't know. Might need to bring this up in MetaDev at some point. Uh, right. Uh, this might have infinity colors. So we can actually check by opening this subnet here. Okay, so it does have infinity colors pattern. No problems there. Which means I don't need to do the miners now, but I would order them just in case. Except all the ADLs are stuck, so they're never going to finish. So there's no point ordering them. Okay, um, all right, let's just go um, turn the QFT back on and then go switch some of the IF harmonies to do unobish recipes instead. And pre cache it on first opening. Yeah, I'm sure there's ways of making it performant. Mm, I could probably switch the nor thermos to Eye of Harmonies to do the Anubis recipe. As it only slightly affects the energy output, actually. I think it's calculating it. I suppose there is. Wait. Wait, what? So it's essentially the same tier as the deep dark recipe. So the only difference between running Anubis and running deep dark is the um, materials, essentially. Well, I guess you, <laughs> well, you get like one percent extra EU per tick running the Anubis recipe. So no real difference. Oh, but yeah, but you you run the deep dark recipe because it gives you all the plasmas you need to do the stellar catalyst. That's why it's better. But we are producing enough for this other catalyst so we can have two of these running Anubis, no problems. Also, I love how this, um, this animation doesn't lag anymore. Okay. <sighs> kind of cool. All right, so this will finish in 10 minutes. So we can just pop out of the block. There is why not that DD. Um, so DD doesn't produce the infinity catalyst, but Anubis does in huge amounts. And we were completely out of infinity catalyst, so that's why I'm having a few of them run on the Anubis recipe. So I don't have to add more space elevators for it. Right, let's add Anubis in here as well. So this will be the, oh wait, this doesn't have any hatches. It has the wireless connector. So this will be, I keep forgetting how I wanted it. The West is always the fluid output. What is the item output? Here we have the input bus, humongous, humongous. I think I had the wrong table color here. That's not how I had it. God. All breaking down. Okay, so west is always the item output. North is the fluid output. <laughs> I actually placed the humongous hatch where there's no cable. 
Beniz. I know how to build. Yeah, it's just fine. Right, so now we need the wireless connection. Um, what was the best way of like order operations here? I feel like I should start with the connectors just so I don't have to leave this area while I'm doing one automation. Confuses me every time. So main net, fluid net. No, wait, uh, I don't know. And this goes on top. Definitely did not make this accessible <laughs> as a wireless uh, inside. Uh, I mean, teleport inside every time. Maybe I could have had like an opening here. You can kind of walk under the glass easier. There we go. Put this in here. And then we need to do the fluids. Hmm, I wonder why it's making the teleportation stuff go like through this entire room. Like sometimes, I guess I'm clicking it on this wall here. It's, it's like there's nothing but wall and just possibly through the entire thing. Well, I need more neutronium energy cells, which need to be very slow to craft. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, don't tell me this is 1x pattern. What? It is. <laughs> oh no. It might be a bit overkill. Do we have enough flux? We don't. Okay, let's make it a bit smaller, maybe. Maybe 32k or something. That'll just be fine. We have to reorder this. Ah, uh, this, that's not better at all. Wait, what, do we have duplicate patterns or something? Oh yeah, we do, huh, weird. There we go. Much better. Right.
right down the filters, hydrogen on the right, and that's the wrong filter. Helium on the left. I really wish there was a way to like automatically put the filters in here. I don't know how it would work. I guess I guess the conduit probe could save the filter and then just pull it from your inventory. That's the easiest option. Yeah, that should be fine. I just need the fluid storage buses. And this should turn on in just a bit. There we go. Takes exactly the same amount of time as the deep dark recipe. So wire farming is done, and we should be getting enough Gallifreyan parts for the third one. Oh wait, no, it's gonna be at least four more hours. Damn it. Never mind, we're not gonna be getting them. Um okay. three more. Now let me just place all the blocks. Um, it's a little bit easier for me to do. I feel like I'm using more item conduits in late game than I was using in the early game. Wild. Is it, they just work for the things I have to do. A2 is kind of clunky with the, like, they would need the storage bus and the export buses. Well, I suppose those would also work, but then you need a, need a neutronium cell here as well. And also, there. Actually, the main problem is the. With packet decoders. The export buses are so bad for those, so. You could um, fix it by having like a chest buffer, but that, that introduces extra lag. As long as you have like on a larger inventory, you have to iterate through. It might be the item going to charge is actually the, uh, the most performant option for this. Okay, let's. I don't have. And do I have inventory space? I guess if I don't have these, then I can put the things. Uh, I don't need that. How do you prevent from inserting too much helium or, or hydrogen? Um, using the homongous hatches, it perfectly divides the amount you need with the input hatch size. So it'll take five full hatches and then it doesn't um, consume more while it's running. So there's no real way of, no, no need to prevent that. It's like automatically that it do the be, being perfectly divisible. That's why homongous hatches are so good for this. It does have some trouble with the lower tier recipe where you need like 9 um, billion where you have to do something uh, different. Like for example, just 1 billion packets instead of 2 billion, which just slow it down slightly. Right, this is pretty quick to do after you get the order operations, right? Bad, not too bad. My farm returns on quick enough before it inserts too much. Uh, yes, because they consume the input hatch only 
um, once every half a second, I think. And they don't consume anything when it's running. So there's no way it can overfill because it's not like the controller does the hatch emptying instead of the hatch itself. So uh, there's no way it can desync. And the reason why there's two of these packet decoders isn't because of like, that you would need to. Um, it's just so you always have a packet ready right after you've like consumed one packet. So it's refilled on the same tick as it's consumed, which you cannot guarantee with just one packet decoder due to the item condo is working only once every four ticks, I believe. But this thing would work with um, with only one tick order. It's just not 100% reliable. I guess I produce by some recipe loop. Yeah, we have some uh, like a passive Passive thing where it constantly converts one cobblestone into stone and then macerates that back into the cobblestone and then the pattern has um, 2 billion hydrogen and helium in its like in its recipe. And that just gets fed in fed into a uh, into an image chest, which we can then see here in the mainnet. It's part it. Is that from tier one? Yep, it is. Uh, that was done. Now that's all the apartments I've built. So let's do the middle parts now. Vector cable. I'm not gonna do this storage bus yet though. So hatch, hatch, input bus, output, hatch, connector, connector, cable. And I guess I do also need the deep dark part here. Um, what am I missing? Oh, <laughs> oops. Yes. One more. And this will be a cool 70 trillion EU per tick extra, which pretty much doubles our power generation. Not bad. And then as soon as those ADLs finish, we can add another 30 trillion. It's getting there. And now this amount of power means we can actually start overclocking a lot of things. Although I guess we're the best way to use the power is to um, parallel the universe even more because that's going to be the largest bottleneck, especially if you want to make the UXV on passes. Uh, that's the block I need to break. Am I unlocking myself again? I realized I didn't place the cable on the wireless connectors. I also need to do. Also tells me which color or which wireless goes where. Now we need the wireless. There's a lot of flying around. We should make the UXP call. I feel like UXP call should be the first UXP thing you make because it makes everything else UXV cheaper. 
as it resources in university will need by 25%. almost have like a door here even oh so this is the main net and subnets All right and I think we can turn it on One more. Doing this a hundred times is going to get old though. Thankfully it's not like all during the same day as it's kind of spread out. Make a few of these every day and at some point you'll have enough. I do like this um, pattern I made here. Looks like Cloud also added more IF harmonies because like yeah, this, this tells you very nicely which ones are um, already hooked up. I like it. Even though it's not the most beautiful thing, but very functional. Good to see I didn't make any mistakes. That's one more. And then we wait for 20 minutes and hope that the recipe doesn't fail so we get enough infinity canals to actually order some things. And I still didn't set up the algae QFT. <laughs> Keep getting distracted. Void miners still running? Yeah, they're running the deep dark. There's a few things you cannot get from anywhere else, I think. So they are there, still doing their thing. This should have started already. Um, mm, <laughs> stop a teleportation, please. Okay, did I forget to... Uh -huh. um. Huh. Um. Did I maybe connect this to the wrong one? 27 Y level. If this is on 79, then I know I put them in the wrong. Oh, hmm. Okay, uh, not me causing this. I can try replacing it, maybe. Um, Okay, looks like it's not getting enough channels.
Hmm, I wonder what could be the problem. Ah. <laughs> uh... How did I even miss that? Okay. Right, then this should be turning on. Okay, there we go. Right, all five are running. I see miners. Yes, the, they are still running. Although I don't think they're very impactful at this point. I didn't see any need to shut them down as they don't really take that much TPS. All right, that is five more Eye of Harmonies. I really love how they how Colin fixed the animation, though that it's not laggy anymore. They can actually have the balls look like intended. I really like how the um, decoration looks with the ball inside, and then you go inside and you see those like these neon parts. Very cool. Very alien. All right, that's the uh, farm is um, at least for the next five hours or so. Only we'll wait for the AALs to do their thing. And we haven't gotten a finished recipe yet, so we're out of Infinity Catalyst. Basically, we'll have to wait for the Infinity Catalyst to um, get inserted once, which might happen in 10 minutes, hopefully. Let's see, I had a task list. It's done the Eye of Harmonies. It's done the Transcendent Nanites. If U of T is next, then the AL will be lost. The AALs are going to be like a multi hour thing, though. I remember it took so long to just do the north side, and that's only. I, I did it in parts, and we have eight, um, eight of them done out of ten. I kind of want to do all ten at once on the other side. Don't take so long. But first, we need more seaweed. I honestly think this QFT building is one of the better like overall building um, exteriors we have. This looks so good from outside. Actually, increase the render distance a little bit. Kind of uh, disabled my night vision. Still haven't gotten any better night vision than the dumb quantum suit helmet, which takes 14 seconds to turn off. I really should get a dragon backpack. Like, why do I not have a dragon backpack? What am I even doing? At least some random pick backpack. I swear I had this backpack since like Stone Age. Maybe Steam Age. Ridiculous. Can my night vision turn off? Hello? Oh, I re enabled it. A little lag. It's a good backpack for back in the day. <laughs> yeah, like what, seven months ago? <laughs> Ah, such a good building. Oh, I, actually, I think the um, the signage is new. Must have did that, and I haven't looked at it myself. Really cool. Although I'm I'm not sure about the blue. It kind of clashes with the rest of the building. Oh God. You can see the little tiles on the reflections. That's kind of cool. But it's actually a yeah, surprisingly cool effect. You can almost use that somewhere, like deliberately. You can kind of see, yeah, it's all little tiles. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's an interesting texture when you make it like this. You can't even tell from far away. 
Oh, and I still have to make the staircase here. There's no way to get to the um, platforms. Right. Uh, I think you have to see here. What's the thing I needed to add? Turn the item trim back on so I can even see things. Little tiles are invasive. Yes. Little tiles are actually, well, Unless this cut from little tiles um, retains the exact emissiveness, it doesn't, it doesn't lose the um, the glow when you cut it down, which is I think unique to little tiles. So you can make some really really bright strips using it. Um, let me see if I can demonstrate it. Uh, I think it's I'm like the name block. Ah, uh, no. Tiles. There we go. Okay, so we have a lot of this car this post, which as you can see, it's uh, hard to see in light. Let me go somewhere it's darker. So as you can see, it's, it still glows a little bit. But it's not like super bright uh, compared to the full block, which is very emissive. But when, when you have the same pillar made using little tiles, it's a lot more emissive. So if you want very glowy strips, using little tiles can be very good. As you can see, it retains the exact same um, bloom as the original block. This is a trick I actually didn't know, so that's why I haven't used it at all. Yeah, and usually you are totally fine using the normal um, strips. As you, like most of the time, you don't want that much glow. That's going to be a bit hard on the eyes if you have too much. Uh, but sometimes, for example, in the space elevator cable, um, having it use these normal, normal cut blocks inside just didn't look good, as you could barely see them. So that entire thing is built using the little tiles version, just so you can actually see the glow. Possible to implement emissions for multi punch. So we we don't know how the or what what's causing the different uh, variations in glowiness. Like for example, on the blocks, um, when cut into shapes, glow differently as well. And I have no idea why. I looked at the code, but I couldn't find anything like that, a rendering specific that would be causing it to do that. Like maybe maybe. There is a reason, but nobody knows why. So we're just gonna play around it. Um, right, this thing. Do I need I need a non-liquid material seaweed? Seaweed might actually be a problem. Two million is suspiciously close to an even number, but what would hold two million exactly? Also, what's even producing this? Zuhai, most likely. We have this Zuhai still running in the or, uh, original Biovat building. So I suppose that's the thing that's causing us to get more seaweed. But why 2 million? Maybe a drawer? Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to add more seaweed production. But let's get this thing running first. Our little tiles in 1.7 performance wise. Um, I would say worse. So uh, using little tiles for like non emissive blocks is kind of a waste unless you want to make some specific shapes. Multipart is still the most uh, performant option for the like things, for the most where you can cut things, I think, because it, it's not saving as much um, data in the block overall. It's slightly more performant. I need an input hatch, UMV. I could use the stocking input hatch, but we have the P2B network, might as well utilize that. I need the stocking bus. Don't need the advanced variant. Uh, this makes a fluid, I think. 
Yeah, it makes seaweed broth and iodine. Seaweed broth we can use to make even more seaweed. Which... I mean, it's a waste to not do it, right? So... Might as well set up the automation for that. I want to put hatch... Giant. Two of them. Do we need the iodine? This is useful. This is useless. Iodine dust used for... Oh, this is alloy. Okay, actually that is useful. Kind of. Or, wait, do we need for anything anymore? Mm. Ah, uh, very small amounts. How is our iodine stock looking? Eh, only 4 million. I guess it, we can solidify it. Don't like it's that hard. Mm, then I want uh, the normal inputs. Grab the catalyst. Oh, I thought we had like none. But for some reason it's rendering behind the thing. I I think that's fixed in dev versions of this update. Right, so this thing needs the liquid. Oh right. I can for some reason I cannot type the at um at mark. I have to paste it in. No liquid out. And then we need the outputs. And this thing should turn on. How many drugs we call it's good? I don't know. We don't have any. But we're going to have 80. <laughs> so we need output, output. I actually have them symmetrical. I didn't have at. Um, so normally you would do it using alt and two on my Nordic keyboard, but that seems to be broken in the new versions. It worked before, so what I just do is I go to my browser, type it in there, and then just copy paste it. That seems to work. Right, this actually should turn on now. Do we lock this? Although I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and those are kind of not priority fluids, so we can put this to void excess, which it already does. And now we should be getting more seaweed extract. See how fast it is. Or even get any at all. Okay. 12 per operation. That's not gonna cut it. Um probably gonna need more EU. Oh on your keyboard is basically broken. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Uh, I think it's because of the Java 20 mod. That thing has been breaking it uh, before as well. So, assume that's the cause. Now, how would I get more energy to this thing? Yeah, 3.2 seaweed extract is not fast enough. Um, if you, I guess if you, if you count for the rest, it's gonna be like 60 per second. But we need hundreds of thousands. Mm. Actually, I don't think we have a seaweed broth P2P. 
double check. Yeah, no see with Ross and no iodine either. Uh, which one was this? See with Ross? I think I want the processing for these right here. Um the question is, am I lazy or not? I could upgrade the power delivery to this section. I think actually I already dragged the 1 million UMV um, the intersection here, so it wouldn't be very hard. It should be 1 million UMV. Oh, it's not. Uh... Hmm. Do we have enough? Lasers to upgrade or not? And we have three, that's not enough. Okay, uh, I just want this thing to work for now, so I, I suppose I'll just use the existing laser or the LSC and upgrade it later. Hello, Hubris. I'm actually stuck in this wall. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, let me through. There we go. How goes things? Um, we basically tripled the amount of eye of harmonies while everyone was not uh, away, including me. So that's nice. Should make uh, should allow us to overclock things a bit more now that we have more power. But otherwise, kind of progression is kind of slow. Also playing other games, I've almost played through XCOM 2 using the long war of the chosen mod, which takes like 200 hours or something. Uh, right, these things can be modified while they're running. You need an AT over there. It's come two. Yes, indeed. Of course, I don't have any active transformers. Or high power casings, because why would I? What about super connecting coils? Yep, no. Titan LSC is cursed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These mini LSCs in the first place are kind of cursed, using them as wireless uh, energy hatches. Illegal. Right, time to find some other music. Do this. You need 23 million universal for first UXV coal? Oh, hey. Isn't that convenient? We almost have it. <laughs> Probably the best I uh, best recipient for the first time uh, batch of university. Ah, auto crafting waiting on you. Wait. Why is this so slow? I guess it's in the arc furnace, which is just a single one. Oh man. Think it pattern? Uh, I don't think it's a pattern issue. It's just the machine is too slow, as it's a single GT++ arc furnace being fed like two amps of UMV, I suppose. Just a machine amount issue. Right, uh, you weed. Well, it's uh, it's decently fast. Could be worse. But yeah, the seaweed is definitely going down. So we do have to add a zoo high over here, I think. I think we also need more minced meat. Or not. <laughs> Half a billion minutes, never mind. 
Agar was the problem, I think. Making stem cells. Uh, yeah. Yeah, def mm. uh, the question is do we want them here or do we want the proper building for it? I feel like this under the QFT would be easiest. Would it be a recipe faster? At this point, it would be, yeah. It's also more expensive. Although oxygen is. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should switch to the oxygen recipe. <laughs> what the hell? Um, the main problem is our EPFs don't ha all have oxygen in it, but I think it still would be faster. That's wild. I also got trillion years of oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Like new EBF which is looking at the internal coils. It would be easier to just add the um, oxygen input to our existing EBS really. Uh, that would be a trivial, trivial change. But as long as the annealed copper is in the big bottleneck in the large aircraft, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I forgot my render distance to be pretty high. There we go. Much more FPS. Is also more than glass bottleneck? I think so. I think it's was the pattern size, maybe? Or the. I don't remember, but it hasn't been an issue in a while, I don't think. I guess I suppose it's solved then. We got the high power casings. Now, annoyingly, this axis transformer here is kind of high. And the LSC is lower than that. So either I make two axis transformers or I lower this. Oh, but I can't lower this because this is the level of the uh, transformer network. So two LSCs it is. Or not two LCs, but two ATs. Great. Okay, so the this is the last the capacitors. One UEV capacitor. Uh UVV one how much is that? Uh, one trillion, I think. A trillion is kind of low, though. The issue with glass fluid extraction of keeping out the requesting a few million reinforced glass. I don't think I've done anything to that issue, but it doesn't be in bottlenecking the other craft, so I don't think it's a huge problem. Oh, uh, <laughs> this might take a while. Holy shit. Pattern is 1x. Yeah, well, it made 5,000. That should be fine. Now, this thing is going to take a while, even though it shouldn't. This is a solidifier. This is also a solidifier. So why are my solidifiers being so slow? Um, it shouldn't be doing any solidifying anymore. Okay, the bedrock came to solidify. Okay, so the solidifiers are kind of well, not really slow. I just Aren't instant. I see the pattern is one thousand at a time by the looks of it. Are you doing the DDP of petroleum? Yes, I think it's passive. Do we? How much petroleum dust do we have? Four point six billion. Maybe we should be doing the assembler recipe. Hmm.
Yeah, this would be basically instant. Um, I think we would still have to turn it into Molten Bedrockium, so there's no real point. Actually, wait, no, these are wire mill recipes, so, hmm. Which much do we have? Wait, looks like we're actually auto-crafting the Petrochium, so I should make the Petrochium pattern assembler. It's going to be a lot faster. So this is going to be so fast, I think we can just do like 18 million. And that was number one. Double check. Yeah. Right, and then we grab the existing bedrockium ingot pattern out of the solidifier. Bedrockium ingot. Right, let's do a test run. Give me 10 million bedrock here. All right, a, a slide speed upgrade? Holy, did it just do like eight? Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? A uh, slide speed upgrade. It did 8 million in one batch, I think. That's why it took like 6 seconds. Holy. Do we have our superconducting coils yet? We do. What about the controllers? <laughs> I love how the active transformers controllers are done in batches of 4,000. Welcome to the end game, I guess. That's not where it goes. Right, uh, I can have it on this side. Now, this thing only does one trillion. I would like to give this. Is this this is eight eight billion, I think. So one trillion is quite a lot more. Um. Okay, I just need to be mindful of the. This energy hatch, otherwise it's gonna blow up. How much is this actually? That's I'm missing a mark after this. Should work. Oh. So this is already half a trillion, I believe. Yeah, this is. Five hundred thirty-six billion. So half a trillion EU per thick, which means we can only have one thousand amps out. Actually, I guess we have two thousand amps out. So we can only overclock this once, unless I upgrade this LSC, and this is why I don't like LSCs. Hmm. I'll just do the 2000 amps, I think. Be fine. Uh, do we have any UMVs? No. <sighs> the Eye of Armor is still haven't got it now. Jackpot. Um, okay, what about UIV light patches? Do I have. Do we have 4K of those? No. Ah, pain. Mm. Do we have any capacitors, maybe? UAV capacitor? That's 
100 trillion. But 100 trillion is still less than the uh, 1 million UMV. I can't even use this. Hold up, how has... Oh, wait. Shouldn't our our network have blown up almost? Or I guess we have the UMV cap there. Hmm. Painful. Okay, do we have 256k lasers then? Okay, this to 2 trillion. So if I add the UIB cap here, that should be able to power it. Oh, <laughs> I almost thought the thing blew up already. That would have made any sense. Uh, now, the glass here should be fine. This will tell the wireless throughput. Doesn't. But now we have one UIV, which means we have 100 trillion throughput. So we should be able to add a uh, laser here without it blowing up. It never feels sluggish all of a sudden. Okay, do we have any 4Ks I could use on the QFC itself? Target source, nice. Turn you off for the time being. Now I could turn this on, but I think I want to add some PAs first. PAs are GT++. Mm, I think I'm going to do a PA, just because you can power them with lasers. Oh, that's actually going to be annoying when the PAs are removed, because you cannot power your auto crafting with lasers anymore, so you have to use normal NHSs. Hmm. Wait, isn't all of his others mildly cursed? This isn't even cursed. The cursed part is when you wall share the AT, so it's uh, 3 by 5 That's the cursed part. This thing still has the... Uh, they're like fully separate. That's really cursed territory, where it goes. Then both AT... like It's almost like the AT is sending energy to itself. And you, you can actually do a loop like that. It's kind of cursed. Don't do that. I've done it once, it's not a good idea. I'm not brave enough to wash our ATs. I actually, in our Stargate base, um, we had an AT wall share that looked like this. That, um, that was the only way of getting power to a single machine we had. So we had to wall share ATs like this. It's kind of cursed. <laughs>
Hmm. So what did I need? I needed uh, a zoo high. And I needed a processing for C with broth, which makes so the centrifuge which directly feeds here and then this also directly gets things using the sucking bus, which means we need quite a few channels. Eight should be enough, so I don't think I need a dense one. And here. Uh later. Needs to kind of go on the lower end, not middle. This can do it at two five six amp. Target source. I already got rid of the spray. Source target. All right, so you should be able to turn this on now. And hope the LSC doesn't explode. I'm actually a novice with the wireless networks. I don't know what's going to explode or not. <clears throat> I think I forgot to spray this. No? Wait, what? Uh -huh. Hmm? Why did she turn off? Ah, uh, what? Okay, uh, I must have sprayed something when I didn't even notice me spraying it. Okay, well, it works now. So that's uh, four times faster. Wait, no, that's... How much faster is this? Eight times faster, I think, roughly. So it was five seconds before. Yeah, so it's eight times faster. I can batch mode this. All right. That should be a pretty decent amount of seaweed as soon as we start processing the other things. Uh, now we need a lot of centrifuges, which is the molecular cyclone, I think. I actually not needed a uh, single block cyclones or uh, centrifuges since IV. I'm going to have to pattern it. Epic fire cyclone, that's not the thing I need. Uh, molecular tornado. Hold up. Okay, I just didn't know the name for it. We do have them. <laughs> Molecular tornado. What kind of name is that, anyways? And then the seaweed broth also needs a centrifuge. Interesting. So this is eight centrifuges. Ah, uh, four centrifuges. Now, what about the speeds? Uh, this takes two seconds at the UV. Meanwhile, this takes. This is an extractor. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I did one big centrifuge and then three extractors, I think. What's the extractor name for UMV? And do we have them? The true should device of Doom? <laughs> the UMV names are pretty silly. Ah, uh, epic liquefying sucker as well. Ah, oh, yes, device of Doom, exactly. We don't have them in the UMV variant though. So let's pattern that. A big extractinator. I'm pretty sure there used to be buttons here. Where did the buttons go? What? You got, huh? Yeah, they're actually removed. That's annoying. 
Halt die Klaus. Yes, we have the circuits ready, so this should be a pretty quick craft. Just need to wait for the compasses. All right, in the meanwhile, we can start setting up the automation here. Need some tunnels, need an input patch, a UMV. Somewhere. There it is. And then you will be into bus as well for the circuit. Let's put you in here. And this outputs into here. Um, although, I suppose this can actually output directly in the main net because it's anyways going to pull the C a bit um, from main net using a sucking bus. So I might as well just have the output here. I think I can share the output bus on the two, two very conveniently. Output ME. Right. Then we can just add the circuit somewhere. Was number three. Actually, we should make the same thing that the CFT makes, which I think was this one. Oh, two eyed men. Yeah. Oh, number five we need. All right. Run. Make it the wrong one, I think. Right. Huh? Pretty sure it's five is the correct one. And where are we getting this save it from? I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it's stocking us all of them. Right. Um. Let's see if that can keep up with this one QFT. Yeah, it seems to be keeping up. All right. Good. Okay. We have our extraction areas yet. Enter. Nope. What are we waiting on? Yeah. Oh, it's solidifiers. The pattern is so big. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if the extract is already coming in even before we extract it. So it should solve all of our seaweed extract needs. Now for some reason it's making the wrong type of seaweed, even though I said it circuit to be five. Odd. I don't know where it's getting the circuit from. Let's put patch mode on here. And then we need to have two stocking buses, I think. Mm. And output here.
Yeah, we're definitely running out of seaweed, so I do have to add the Zuhai. And I think this also needed a circuit to process. I don't know. Doesn't. I guess you can't need it in an extractor as it only has one slot in the single block version. Let's see, seaweed. Now we just wait for the extractors to finish, which they just did. All right, this feels a little slow. I hope this can keep up. I mean, the uh, recipe is 180 seconds long, so. Twenty two seconds to do one. Ah, it does down here, so I guess four times parallel instead. So eleven per second, which means it's processing six hundred and forty per second. So two point five K per second. Um let's go wait, two point five K per second is Way less than the speed of this thing. Uh, do I actually add a second PA array for just start extracting the seaweed? I might. Hmm. Nine point four times three times sixty-four. So yeah, we're only producing two point two k seaweed per second, but we're producing like eight thousand. So, this is not like a huge array of PAs to do nothing but seaweed extraction. Wild. And if I don't do it now, it's going to, uh, going to stockpile forever and block all of our drives. Oh no. So it's the smart thing to just make this thing slower, with less power. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let's just add a crap ton of extractors. Extractinator. Uh. Oh, come on. All I wanted was to make a few extractors. Maybe some catalysts? Ah, true. Maybe. I feel like that's just... Made it overclock more. Yeah. <laughs> Rate B to make seaweed? No, that's that, that that B is actually a trap. Um it's intended for skyblock. But that B is so bad. Actually I I guess this thing will stop eventually when the seaweed runs out. So I can just leave it be for now and then leave it uh the be future me's problem eventually. This is our immediate need for CV. Because this is already like what I'm actually uh it's only like two hundred K C of it. It's not even that much. Hmm. Oh well. That's enough for now. I'll come back to it later. There was something I wanted to do. Uh... Right, these need to be turned into um, AAL patterns. I mean, it's so many, and they are currently done in the normal ALs, which is way too slow. But we're still kind of waiting for the Infinity Catalyst to hit the jackpot, so we can actually craft things. A little awkward. I guess we do only get one roll every like, what, 20 minutes or so. 
Actually, I guess it's every ten, 10 minutes because we have two of them. But we only need to hit it once. But we're actually just waiting for ADLs to do their thing. Let's still go check their progress. They should be finishing up in about two hours or so. Is it like already the minor make catalyst? Yes, and it is making catalyst. That's how we're getting all the catalysts. But we use so much of it to run the QFTs, so all of it is being eaten up by those. Right, so what's the progress like here? Is this from all the TPV mining? I see the catalyst mining. It's barely gonna help it though. Like we could just consume so much, and it's going to be completely inconsequential the moment we hit hit the deep dark ones because that gives you like two hundred million just instantly. So this is about halfway done, a little bit more. But it's gonna be two more hours before we get the first Gullifreyan part. And this is the annoying part about um, the universal ADLs, where you kind of lose the parallel unless your pattern size is big enough. Like this is wasting one or three fourths of the ADL uh, speed. Yeah, this is why we really need dedicated high power um, Gullifreyan part makers. Hmm, let me actually see what's the state of this uh, array here. So I think we built it out mostly. We have the controllers. We have the hatches all placed, except the input hatches are all UV. Those need to be switched to be U and B instead. Maybe even Humongous. Oh, but Humongous is going to be like a thousand of them. It's pretty expensive. I'll only check which ones we have on this side. I think they're U and B. Yeah, you know me. So that's big enough for our needs. So we need on this side we need to do oh swap out the input hatches. This should all be configured to auto pull, yep. Uh need to do the power, then need to do all the P2P wiring. And then we need to do all the redstone control. So we can actually do the oxygals here as well if needed. So quite a lot of work, especially because there's 10, 10 total, or 10 arrays of 32. I guess that's about uh, 7 or 8 hours of work. But that would basically quadruple our, or maybe even more, our AL speeds. Hmm. Now, I cannot really do anything except for the P2P wiring before I get more Infinity Catalyst. Um, I could place all the wireless connectors, I suppose. What is the percentage of success on recipes running? Um, I think it's 21%. percent i right, can go check. I need to order some more things for the uh, Aslan's anyways. I'm making 32 in 2,200 seconds. Well, that's only eight times faster than ours, which isn't that huge. Considering those are running at 256 stamps of UMV. Also, we are, if our entire array is making them, then we're making 32 in, well, if we amortize, amortize the speed, then you know, like what? Let's do some math. One every 70 seconds, which isn't too bad. <laughs> but that means every single AL we have is making them. This is actually finishing up in five minutes. This will be 16%, turns the success chance 21. And if that finishes, we get this time 60%, so roughly 200 million infinity catalyst. Not bad. 
Just need to hit the jackpot of 20%. I did actually finish once at least then. How about this one? Also finishing it in three minutes. Wait, are these almost perfectly synced? That was 1160. This one is. Ah, oh, okay, so this is like one minute ahead. Okay. Five hundred sixty per thirty-two. Yeah, I don't know. actually, how much is sixty? Ah, uh, that's thirty-two trillion each. So like thirty-two times two. They're spending one quadrillion EU per tick to do those, which is how much? Actually, let me check how much we're consuming. Uh. That can't be right. How much of this point? We have 288 ALs right now, and each each one of them consumes 260 UMV. So this is going to be in millions. So we got billions. Wait, there's no way that our ALs is one quadrillion. Hold up. Wait, do they only use one trillion total? That, so this is millions, that means at the age we have billions, so... Ah yeah, okay, so they use 10 trillion here per day, okay, that makes more sense. That means one AL of yours uses one third of our entire AL array. Time dilation field chance cuts recipe time for recipe success chance. Is it better to use tier 2 time dilation, for example? I don't think so. I believe the best is just 999 everything. We can actually see here. Yeah, so 50% multiplicative. So it would basically double this. Uh, I make it twice as slow. While only increasing the success chance by roughly 50%. So it'd go from 21 to 30%. Um, so it's still overall worse. Actually, I guess you could optimize it somehow. Let me open up my Excel real quick. All right, so let's say tier one, and we have speed here. The speed is one, and chance is one. So we get the coefficient here. We multiply speed by chance. Now at tier two, we half the speed, but the chance goes down by zero point zero nine five. Two five nine two five. That needs to be a comma. Then we calculate the coefficient here again. Yeah, so we want the coefficient to be... Oh wait, no, the speed goes up. And down. Yeah, so yeah, coefficient wants to be as high as possible. There might be... Okay, this math is looking wrong. Let's see what happens when I uh, extrapolate this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, okay, you can see the coefficient does go up. So the speed increase does um, counteract the chance loss, and it's better to increase the speed, even if you lose the chance. I guess if the tiers kept going at some point, it will reverse. Yeah, as you can see, if you had two more tiers, the chance would go so low, and now we're actually losing um, 
speed. But yeah, the, the higher the tier, the better. There's other blocks that count for. There is, but I don't think it affects anything. Wait, hold, hold up. Probably it's earned to be succeeding. Oh. Hmm. Oh, but no, but do you want the stabilization field generator to be as high as possible, of course? Because that's just a straight up increase in probability. H having that any as anything else than um, the highest is going to be worse. So you don't really need to account for that at all. Because like that's kind of the that's the baseline that we start from, which is actually I think the chance here would be zero point nine. Yeah, it's still actually it's <laughs> if it went up uh by one more tier. Actually, no, this is the wrong. So there's something going on. I guess it uh. Chance isn't 0 0.9. Oh, I guess it's 0 0.95 then? Yeah, this looks correct. All right. So it actually would still even be better to make it twice as fast while being half as uh, likely to succeed. After that, it drops so low that then it would kind of reverse, but 999 is still the best eye of harmony to use. Which makes sense because it's also the most expensive. It was kind of silly that using the 9. One nine before was the optimal way of running the Eye of Harmony with the overclocks. All right, what was I doing? Uh, I was waiting for the Infinity Catalyst, which we still didn't hit the check was for, unfortunately. Um, then the ALs. Now, there's a few things I have to change as well. Like for example, this controller setup has been changed a little bit. So it got the um this right. What is this? All oh, right, this is the network that kind of disables the AL system. There's no input, which cycles the recipe and makes the universal thing work. Now this side does not have it. Let's see what is it missing. All right, uh, this also has way too small um trooper tanks. I just cannot hold anything. <laughs> Quite a lot of retrofitting that needs to be done. I'll just cut this open first so I can work a bit easier. Wait, what? what? Who placed these cells? Why are there two, five, six K cells in here when you need the block uh, quantum sources or block containers even? What? Somebody has been trolling. Oh my god. Alright, time to rip up the entirety of the backside here. Ah, uh, that means I have to order some more quantum singularities. Really? There's exactly the amount I need. I need 160 in total. Uh, what about the punks? And then IVs. Boom tank IV. I need 40 of them, so I need a little bit of more. Hang me. And they have the UV pump. All right. So much retrofitting to be done. Oh man, how many P two P I have to link? So they have. Five layers with 64 each. 
and each has total of 20 P2P size to link divided by 2 because they are sh no, I know all the food is shared. So it, it has 18. Ah, oh, yes, almost 6,000 P2Ps I need to link. Oh, nice. At least you can do this in parts. Like, even if you only get one of them running, that's already a pretty big increase. Speed if you give it enough power. Also, this is gonna need a pretty big. I, I am gonna have to resort to using the mini LSC myself as well because there's no way I'm gonna be able to feed a quadrillion Uber ticks through the main backbone of the lasers. I'm gonna have to run like eight parallel 1 million of UMVs to do that. There's no way. Actually, that, that that probably means I have to have a mini LSC on every single floor. It's not going to fit. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, wait. So how am I going to power this? Mm. The vertical line here can only fit like three, maybe five lasers total. So I guess I cannot give it one quadrillion unless I... We have the LSDs like here. Come away from the thing. Hmm. Well, I'll have to figure out if I actually have the laser hatches. Now I need to figure out the controllers first. I'm going to take a picture of this side. Because I think there was other um, changes that also did. Like this storage bus, did I have it on the other side? I did, okay. Oh, but what's the storage bus? This is on bi-directional, so I can see it in the network. And I think all of these are on insert only. And this, ah, oh, shit. Right. How does the fluid AR hat work? Um, you enable it, then you reboot the computer, and then you should have a new button in the main menu of NIDAS to actually select the things. Oh, man. Okay, uh, this is doubled in parts, so it's fine. You have used the memory cards, like, do the two passes through all of them. This has to be the most annoying thing to automate in the entire base, so so over engineered. But I think it's worth it for the performance because it's much better to have the AALs in banks of 32, as that, that means you only need the automation for like one and you get the speed multiplied by 32. So overall, it's going to be better, um, even though it's a lot more labor to set up the thing. I think I'm going to start with replacing all the, um, the cells inside with quantum singularities. That's going to be easier if I just empty them all first. Now, is there any way I could empty them easier than this? It's like having to move the mouse up a little. Well, I could take a macro. It's like overkill. Eh, I'll just do this 20 times. Wait, I think I'm missing this. Yeah, I always miss the first one as there's the extra block kind of blocking it. I to get rid of it. I don't do that. All right, so let's keep working from top to bottom. 
just so we have some order in this. I could also just delete all the MHS, but I feel like rotating them all to face the correct direction would take longer than just getting rid of the self manually like this. And I realize I should really do this um, at the same time as I'm inserting a quantum cell as I'm gonna have to be opening the GUI anyways. Let's do that. I'm trying to think of ways I could use to automate this without using a macro. And every single thing that's coming up to my mind is more labor than doing it manually. Like setting up the automation. I guess open computers might be the only option, like using a robot to fill this, but that would <laughs> take a few hours to set up. And by that time I would have done it like 10 times over. There's no point. And we take 16 of these to our inventory. And then do this in parts. Actually, I only have to click once. I'll just keep holding um, the mouse and it'll shift click in there, honestly. Until I get into the issue of having to do like a long detour. Ah. It's my stream deck with the super macro book into automate filling extended ins inscribers in ATM9. <laughs> that seems a little overkill. I'll just use auto hotkey for that. I guess this is one more button for you, but yeah, auto hotkey is pretty powerful. It's just annoying having to figure out the exact like timings so the server plays nice with it and also the exact, exact uh, screen positions. It takes a bit longer than I would like. Excellent instructors hire four instructors in one. You need to press the next button to fill that in the next press. <laughs> what? <laughs> that just sounds horrible. Designed that. At least in A2, we have the forming press. No need to play around with the inscribers. It's kind of interesting that you don't have to use the inscribers for anything, but like, it makes sense because A2 unlocks three tiers after you unlock the forming press. So it would be kind of silly to kind of gate the forming press precipice to ID or something, so I would be forced to use the inscriber. Although if you want to be really masochistic, you could do that to kind of force the use. Right, two layers done, three more to go. How the input flows into OC. Uh, you need to have an adapter next to the ME interface. It reads the fluids from your A2 network. Remember to check for the um, infinity catalysts might appear any moment. I can finally autocraft things. I'm surprised it took this long to run out. Like we haven't ha had any issues with the infinity catalysts for like a long time, but I guess the deep dark was running for so long without the QFT consuming it all that we just accumulated a huge stockpile. Uh, 
man. I really have to split this into a few sessions, I feel. It's gonna go insane if I have to do this manual labor for 10 hours in a row to do this ALs. I think I'm gonna do the controller part today and maybe do, try to do the uh, the P2Ps tomorrow. Anyways, need to wait for the laser to craft. Not to take at least an hour minimum. I did I already do this entire part? Hold up. I guess I did. Oh, huh, okay. I think I'm gonna do these quantum things. I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna do the storage passes and all the other um, modifications. This is pretty really quick after I get into the rhythm. So we the server plays nice. It is not doing right now. One more layer. Hmm. I wonder if there's any upgrades we could do with the improved tech we have now. Okay. The Mongoose input hatches is the only one I can think of, but that sounds really useful as the we will need such a high pattern size for that to matter. Mm. Controller wise, there isn't really anything to improve, really. I guess uh, quantum tanks could be fives instead of IVs. That's actually, yeah, that might be useful. Let me order something of this. Oh, hey, I think we hit the chapter now. Ah, never mind. That's the need in Physic Hellas. Oh no. Need one more. Almost a perfect amount. Four extras. Interesting how these quantum storage cells turn out to be useful for other things since it's storing one item. And I use them as a drawer uh, for this setup. I think the only single type item cell we had before I added the digital thing right is and started quantum storage cells was the block container. Which was pretty handy to have because I guess it's copied the code of this one to implement the uh, the quantum storage and the digital thing right thing. Right, that's the storage cells done. Our next up is gonna be the storage buses, which are a bit annoying as you have to precisely click them. But yeah, I need to eat first, so let me go watch these ALs. Hmm. 
roof doesn't want to load. There we go. I shall be back in about five to ten minutes.
I'm back. Let's see if we have gotten some Infinity Catalyst. Nope. Still not to be seen. <laughs> One day. Oh, actually, I have a suspicion that I might have forgotten to connect the um, output properly. Might be a possibility. We'll check that. If I'm missing a cable down here, no, oh, it's disconnected. So this should be. Yeah. Any problems? All right, so I just hasn't hit the 21% quite yet. Okay. Back to the aerials. <laughs> That's kind of funny how the fine screw through here. Pretty cool. Hmm, actually, let me maybe start ordering the UXV parts because we do have to fill this entire thing. Massive uh, shopping mall of uh, assembly lines. This is turn out really nice though. So many good buildings in this space. What do I need for this? I think it's like the Brigidium. And the machine casing. It's really kind of cool, the water reflections. There's a force field. Force field. Wait. Oh. What? There's no force field. Um. How is this water being held up? I think the only reason the water hasn't fallen down is because there hasn't been a block update next to this. This was more than it over. Check out your mincemeat. Uh, Zuhai, I believe. We have a, two Zuhais running um, from like the UIB days <laughs> in the BioVat area. That needs an upgrade at some point, I'm pretty sure. Are those magic blocks from other blocks? Uh, no, because you cannot fly through them. You can see here we have the force field on the like the original copy. But when we copied it over, force field gone. Is there any way to move the fluid air to the left side? Uh, unfortunately, no. The code is only set up so it can kind of um, and expand the text to the right side. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot move the fluid AR to the other side. Right, where was I? Uh, I could do the fluids next, I guess. Yeah, let me do the tanks, assuming I got the phantom tanks ready. They should be pretty quick to craft though. Phantom Tank 5. I'm not done. So what's the hold up? Oh. Oh, okay. That needs to be changed. Um, all our bio circuits are still done using the worst recipe. That I didn't want to change because it uses hypogen. But now we have plenty of hypogen, so I should finally switch the bio to use the better recipe. Which actually is pretty trivial to do. Let me do that right away before I forget for the, like the third time. Oh, it's a force field and inserted it as some kind of an invisible block. Oh yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah, it made like a ghost block. But I think water still flows through it, which was the weird part. So I'm pretty sure it's just being, being held up because of no updates, maybe. Oh well, as long as it works, I'm not gonna complain. Right, um, how many parts of the bio line can be made better here? This is an AL. 
All right, it's only the first step, which is the proper money one anyways. So this is slightly slower, I believe. But it does mean we don't have to use the AALs to make the bioprocessors, which is a big improvement. And switching this out, actually, it shouldn't even be that hard. Grab the pattern here. And just... Oh, wait, but do I need to wrap anything? Uh... Oh, wait, that's... <clears throat> Yeah, right. We're using calls, not the numbers. More sense. Two. Three. Four. And it's all. And then these can have whatever. Do step null for implements. Right now, fluid is the same, I think. I don't need to change the pattern. Oh, wait, actually, no, the fluid does change. So, ooh, that might be a problem because there might be some leftover fluids. I need to go through the um, calls, check for that. Anyways, uh, grab this, which the pattern. And I think we need to add the living bio things. I'll make this. Mm. Sixteen. Oh, oh, oh no! Is this a problem? Mm, I don't. I don't have quite throughput on the cutting machine. Oh yeah, this is also why I didn't up, um switch to the thing before. I think because the cutting machine is really supported, but now they do. So fine. The uh, fuck is this autoclave? Uh, I think we do have universal automation for this. Let me remove biocellars from pattern. Ah, that's a good point. It's out of play. Yeah, we have it out of play. No problem. Adding machine. One. Go in there. And then we have the number 16 December, I think. Right, let's give it a test. Oh. Oh, hypogen dust. I guess the easiest way is using macerators for that. Do we make blocks of hypogen? Yeah, we do. Oh, but how many of them do we make? One at a time. You know, it would make a lot more sense to just do it using the ingots, considering we make those in the mega solidifier. <laughs> Uh, 
Is nuclear star only 64x? Good question. Hasn't been a problem, that's why. Alright, maybe now we can try it. It actually makes them somewhat cheaper, so you don't need any of the SMDs. So you don't even have to use the laser engravers for almost any of the steps. <laughs> 16 million chromatic class at a time. Mm, this might be a problem. Does this RTP actually it is pretty fast? Shouldn't be that problematic. Well, it is pretty slow. Ah, it's slow because of the pattern size going into only one PA. So it's only one quad doing it. Which is fine because the, um, the patterns that come after it don't need the entire pattern to be done. So it just basically take up one PA, which will then use the excess for the rest of the recipes. Oh, it should be fine. Just to wait for this thing to actually show if it works or not. Actually, I can go check on the input hatches while I'm waiting. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a, a residual amount of the in the loy. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh, this is nano uh, crystals. Where do we make bios? That's nanos. Are you bios? You're nothing. There's the bio. We have two for bios. Huh. Okay. Is there any way to remove max fluid storage info? Uh... Oh, it looks... Oh, right. So the max fluid works by multiplying the max amount by two every time you reach 100%. So it will dynamically adjust to your maximum amount. Like I don't know what else what you what need to display. It's like just the text of how much you have, I guess. Then I would couldn't have like a progress bar. Um the dynamic max amount works perfectly if you use super tanks. And it works fine if you use the other tanks as well. It's basically record your maximum amount of fluid you've had and then when you drop down it'll kind of um, tell you how much you've had uh, how much you have compared to how much you have had so in my uh, experience it was fairly useful to have that information right please all right once now patch input yeah there's plenty of in the light here I have to empty all of it manually. Uh, could use a plunger, I guess. I think this might be faster. There should only be 16 total. Hello, Yasuki. Oh. All oh, right, these are upgraded to Yomi wireless hatches, but we just, just get rid of the cable. Actually, who oh, place this? Wow, okay. I'll close the lazy one. It's twenty five percent done. This does mean we start using mutated living solver for making bios as well. And we were kind of low, well, not low, but we do need more mutated living solver because I think we need trillions to make the gate. But that's just like the UFT problem, really. I put eight, eight UX3 hatches on normal as fine as four times less energy and it's two times faster. That sounds like something you need to fix. 
There are some other problems with the Aslan as well. I think, for example, you cannot overclock them to UXV um, if you're doing a UMV recipe. So there are definitely problems with the overclocking logic on the AEL. Okay, it seems to be doing things now. Um, annoyingly, that's probably going to mean it doesn't finish the entire recipe. Uh, it's going to have some residuals, so to be split unevenly. But is it working? It uh, is working. Okay, good. It is definitely slower than before. Hmm. We can make it four times faster by switching this to UXV eventually. But that's kind of <clears throat> worryingly slow now that I changed the recipe. I think that might have been my main reason for not switching it for so long. This is the last side. Although, also, the speed was with like less than half of them running. So, I'm hoping it's not gonna be a problem. And if need be, we do have two more holes ready. So, we can always just double the amount if need needed. Ooh, I just. What if we had a challenge run of New Horizons where you didn't have flight? That would really make base design more important. That'd be kind of interesting, actually. You would ha actually have to make maintenance like access uh, shafts and things like that. I might honestly try to do that. Like, you are only allowed to use flight to build um, like decorative things. All the machinery must be placed without flight. <laughs> Well, based in a flat world. Well, it's still. Hmm, I don't know. Um, I feel like if you have it completely flat, your base would just balloon in size so much if you're going to stack anything that they're not having any like support structures. But, uh, it's just flight is taking such for granted in late game. It will really shake it up a lot. Although. <laughs> How do you even like make the DTPF or I of Harmony almost? Oh man. I guess you could like you could still have the um the boosted jump from Quantum Suit. Like this is the jump without slide. So this is pretty good already for moving around. But you would like you would almost need like a grappling hook or of some kind so it could stick to walls maybe. Teleport stuff. Ah, that is true. But that does mean you need to have areas where you can teleport to and some platforms to stand on. It would definitely change it a little bit. Like, how would you make these, for example, without slide? There's no way. All right, anyways, uh, the bios work now. The better recipe, even though it's a little slow. That's honestly really slow. Damn. Um, how many of them are running though? Yeah, it's only like maybe one third. So it's about three times faster if it's actually properly going. Let me reorder that to see the speed. Why did it make more chromatic glass? Weird. I 
many calls is that? So each hole is 64. And we have seven holes, so do the math. Although this might not even be enough, we might need more. Did you try calling circuit assembler mode yet? No, I did not. We don't really have a need for that. We have a circuit assembler with 256 Yumi ones. It's plenty fast. Crafts are so huge. <laughs> well, these are pretty small uh, for this year we are in. Okay, let me see if I can order an Eye of Harmony here. God damn it, Infinity Catalyst. Just, ah, just give me the 200 million. I'm waiting for it. But yeah, here's a craft. And this is also kind of small compared to Stargate, which is the main goal. Can you read the numbers though? Unfortunately. But yeah, this, <laughs> this is the craft we are trying to optimize as you need so many Eye of Harmonies in total. This is a CC catalyst to help it a bit. Uh, I don't need it right now. And worst case, I'll just have it tomorrow. Like 100%. Only problem I see is like, I can't really read the numbers. Yeah, that's the issue with the transparent UI. Uh, I kind of need to make sure I am facing a, like a really good um, backdrop for it to be readable. Like this, yeah, this is almost readable now. Almost. Over the Nomi factor, this looks huge. <laughs> Yeah, Nomi Factory. I would say New Horizons is like three extra tiers on top of Nomi. And because the tiers are exponential, the numbers get pretty crazy. Also, New Horizons, I, I believe, has way more devs and a lot more time spent on optimization and are like things that allow us to do these ridiculous numbers. Like, I don't think you would have, you would have um, quadrillions of fluid in Nomi Factory or trillions of items. <laughs> And these num numbers are still pretty small compared to some endgame people. Let me see, finish ATM 9 with Greg Star. I don't think I'm ever going to be playing any other pack than New Horizons, to be honest. I'd like to have Super Tank 2. Super Tank 2, alright. Uh, how many? Like 1 billion? <laughs> Can't order 1 billion Super Tank 2 because I don't have enough Blaze Rods. All right. I like how Blaze Rods is the only thing we don't have. What the hell? Oh my god. All right. Um, this perhaps go yet? No. Still waiting on the... Ah, yeah, the wrapping, that's why. So this should be done... Actually, how slow is this? Ah, oh, it's autoclave. This is still running UEV, so it's gonna take a while. Need to upgrade at some point. Mm. Oh, this will be a few minutes. I'm gonna wait for that, see if this thing turns on or not. It should turn the entire thing on. If not, then I'm gonna have to troubleshoot why it's doing that. Still no infinity catalyst. New Horizons but refined storage instead of AE. Ah, uh, yeah. So the gate, the pack ends at LUV because the TPS goes to like zero. From what I've read, refined storage is really bad for in performance compared to AE two. No way. People bitch about channels, but they are a necessary evil for people to actually have a like a performant A2 setup. Like channels themselves are not the thing you need, um, but channels force you to make a properly optimized A2 setup, which is performant. So you can you could play without channels as long as you know what you're doing. Skyblock New Horizons would be great. Um, that's a thing. I hope you know that. It's an actual thing called Guardian of Grind. Okay, that uh, just perfectly turned on at once, except for this one. Why are you not on? Hello? Oh. Ah. Okay, I think I might have forgotten to empty like this back piece here. Yeah, there we are. 
And that's why we check. All right, everything else should be on. Mm. How do I go down with this? All right, yeah. So that's all of it. Okay, what's the speed like now? Okay, that's better. It's still kind of shit, though. Uh, the question is, is this going to bottleneck the crafts? I don't think it is. Because this is, this is the first step, and also it's fairly disjointed from all the other machines. This is, this is the autoclave. Like, actually, cutting machine is kind of uh, uh, in high demand, but it doesn't use the laser engraver, which is the first step before the cutting machine, so this should not be the bottleneck. And if it is, we can just increase the hatch, hatches to be UXV, which is four times faster. And to double the amount, which is twice as fast, so... Well, we'll have to see if it's uh, going to be a problem or not. Um, how? Does it have sifting and things like other mod packs? No. <clears throat> it abuses the... Um, the crops. I see the crops to get most of the things in the early game. And you actually start with nothing. You don't even have a block. The way you get a block is you die, repeatedly until you spawn enough graves to have a dirt platform. It's, it's really, a, really a thing. Uh, there's not a document for it. Let me find it. Uh, hmm. Somewhere there is a document, but I cannot find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the there's a there's a basically a guide on how to get to I think UEV uh, in Skywalk. You don't need to spawn any items, and you don't need to modi modify the pack at, at all. So it's it's really cool that you can do that. But yes, it's absolute torture. I really would not suggest you do that. There are a few people um, playing it. I think Orange Scream Sickle is actually streaming Garden of Grind. I, I also tried it myself, but I didn't really enjoy it. Mostly because, well, we got to IV and you just have a void to build in, and that's kind of boring. Like, yeah, maybe you could do a space station or something, but I don't know. I prefer building in the overworld, it's just more interesting for me. Also, the early game is just so much torture that this <laughs> the only reason you play the early game is so you can get to the late game, pretty much. There's no enjoyment in early game Garden of Rhine. Um, Right, back to the... Oh wait, I was doing the BIOS so I can upgrade the um, quantum tanks. I do have 34 billion bio cells, hello? And now we're not even going to need these for anything. These are completely useless. <laughs> My god. Like literally nothing uses bio cells except the bioprocessing units we were using. And now we don't even use those. Pointless. Okay, quantum tank 5. Give me... Which part? Except this is never going to finish either because it needs the assembly line to make the bio mainframes and every single ass line is in use to make all the parts. Great. Uh, I guess I'll have to use the force instead. Oh well. But this is almost done. Almost, I say, as it's still an hour away. Oh well. The Troy is having 100 of DDPS and I've harnessed the AFK for months, not comparable to early game. You could probably draw some parallels between the Gardener of Grind early game and um, normal New Horizons in game. Both are lots of waiting for the sake of waiting for things to process. I guess Gardener of Grind is worse because you can't even do anything in there uh, instead of just wait, like 
You don't have resources to build anything. Right, uh, Phantom Tank ID. Give me a sec. And then it becomes. And then we replace. We just draw this entire side at once. Actually, probably easier for me to just place these because otherwise I have to wait five seconds for them to form. I can just go do the entire placement and then uh, wrench them later. King of Loki to sell the AL. Um, it's not gonna help after the controller because I need to set up the P2P channels and I can just roll it with those. Also, I don't have Ring of Loki. <laughs> I have to figure out how the hell you get it. I never used it, so I actually don't really know how powerful it is uh exactly maybe i should figure it out it seems to be a pretty powerful light game okay, when 1.2 we have a to sell scan fluids and items well doesn't that just sound perfect for um universal automation It seems to be like free there any sheets or whatever for optimizing it. Uh not really. I mean don't most of these don't use uh, level emitters and uh export buses. Or you can use them but don't ex um abuse them. But that's most for TPS reasons. I don't think you can get a, a two to lag your FPS. I really heard that happening. You know, the new horizons too, to store fluid, fluid packets. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But it has issues with throughput on the fluid, as you have to somehow convert it. And there's at least a single block that can do that. Uh, although there was actually a suggestion uh, recently in the universal automation thread, where by having a chest buffer before the oh, that's this quick uh, before the decoder makes it a lot faster because that way the export process is really bottlenecking. Um, the extraction of the packets from the network. So I could try that on some of the subnets that have issues with fluid throughput, like the process. How big is your base? Uh, about 2.5k chunks. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> Although a lot of it is uh, empty area, like this, this um, water and trees. I would say about maybe 1.2 thousand chunks have things in them. Uh, the reason why the base is so big is that we can keep FPS in most areas above 30. If you have everything crammed in a small area, then your FPS is going to be bad everywhere. Like already here, there's basically nothing but this area, and it's already 20 FPS, you know, with like no render distance. Uh, just like here, we have good good uh, FPS, and mo most areas still have like above forty FPS. So, if you didn't spread it out, it would be a lot worse to play with playing. Uh, I already did this. Hmm. I think I'm missing the output um, network here. I don't seem to have it built.
Oh, dice. Wait. Was the misfit pump going to my inventory? Man, oh, I forgot my renders to be ten. That helps a little bit. <laughs> Double my FPS. There we go. Right, last chunks. Now we need to do all the orages or the priorities. I think these are fine. These are not fine. Why did I not do any of it? Damn it. Okay. I am going to need a lot of memory cards. That's too many memory cards. Hey, I think the easiest way is first doing the items 1 to 8, then doing the items 16 to 9. I can keep a little bit of order with my memory cards. I can just copy it all from here. Now this should all be prioritized and have nothing in it. But it's insert. Why is it insert on oh, wait? What? I think there was one mistake. One of them was insert only, even though they all should be bi-directional so you can empty them. Okay, so that's just this one having an issue. I see, I see. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just copy this ten times. Not too bad. The only annoying part is having to do this so many times. I think I did this one twice. Ah, oh, shit. I swear I'm gonna make like one mistake here and I'm gonna spend a, an hour fixing it. There was actually some modification um, Cloud did to this where he kind of linked all the output hatches these transfectors so he can monitor them using the fluid storage bus so he can empty the hashes easier. And I don't know if he has used this ever. I just found it pretty funny that he went through all the effort to do this just so he can empty them a bit easier. Okay, fine. Four more, and then I need to do it once more for the last eight. Actually, I think you could ring of locates, right? It works for A too. I think. Hmm.
Los Milzo. Okay, so how do I get the Ring of Luck? <laughs> it's uh, from the Gaia Spirit, I assume. How do I kill the Gaia Spirit? I've never done it. Actually clueless. I know we have some Botania done. But I've literally never touched the mod, so... <laughs> like, I'm completely clueless on anything magic. Alright, well, this side is done now, and I guess I'm gonna try getting the Gaia uh, for the remaining part. Let's go see what we have for the Botania setup. I know Rubix did a little bit of it, so maybe we have access to Gaia already. Terrastell ingot and click on pylon. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? Why is this white? Hold up. We actually have snow over there? Wait, what? Oh, I never realized it has snow. Damn. Okay, somebody explain how we're gonna have like a rainforest right next to snow. What? Oh. What biome is this? Home beach? Okay. I never noticed this. Alright, let's see if the Gaia is actually inaccessible uh, without flight. We did do a little bit of accessibility things here. I do like this entrance, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Very nice. But I don't see any stairs going up even more. Is it here? No, there's no pathway. I guess the stairs kind of end. Yeah, these don't lead anywhere. I see. It's large biomes. Uh, this is on the. What's the term? I already forgot. Uh, the amplified terrain generator. So we have very like large cliffs and mountains. Oh wow! Okay, this really looks good. I didn't wait. Put this in the loading screen. Are the images? What the hell? This looks amazing. <laughs> God damn. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this. Let me find the best angle here. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, it might be better if I increase my render distance even more. Let me load this area a little bit. And fill up the whole loading screen folder with your base alone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Unfortunately, none of my images actually got into the loading screens um, this time around. That's kind of interesting. I have fallen from Dream's grace. He doesn't like my buildings anymore. Field building, uh, but that's Delano's image, and also that already was in the loading screen art from before. Kind of, it's just a different angle, uh, so I don't really count it as I didn't build most of the building. I'm playing this solo? No, absolutely not. We have a lot of people. I'm playing this probably better. Quite a few. Actually, only 50, 56 hours from a thousand hours for me. Also, I'm kind of surprised Delano has only half of my hours. It feels like he's just been playing almost whenever I'm playing, but it's not. Am I ever gonna do this B building? So unfinished. Oh man. Like a. Man, it looks like an evil la lair or something. 
Oh man, this is so good. The um, green stream really kind of ties it together. Makes it look like... like it really draws your attention to how to get in there. Like before, there was no entrance, so it just kind of like hidden in the cliffside, so you didn't really realize it's there. But now you can't really miss it, so it's really cool. Like it. Also, the insides are very unique with the um, hemp creek floors, which is so reflective everywhere. I have so many good buildings in this space. Um, pylon. Apparently, I need. I am mana spreader, mana pool. Um, Rick Alter. Picture a pile. Okay. Uh, Terra Steel. Give me one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one magnet took it all. Uh, <laughs> um, do I need a weapon? Is this a weapon? <laughs> uh, let's see if our pilot is bigger in the middle. Uh, Okay, do we have more pylons? No. A pylon? Um, I'll make. Okay, there's some way for me to disable my magnet. I don't remember how. Um, I drew my entire numpad here. Ah. Okay, I'm lost. I'm gonna. I'll use. There we go. I'm in Portland on Gaia Simon. Uh, yeah, I think I need these Gaia pylons, right? I need these mana diamonds, which need exclusive diamonds, which we have. I just toss them here, I suppose. Bonk. Is this like an infinite mana pool or something? <laughs> Oh no, it's, it's run out. Huh. Maybe? Wait, I disabled Wyla. Uh, oops. No. Oscar Dandelion. and I suppose this is like the creative mana thing. Okay. Uh, what's this in here? Maybe now I can do the Gaia thing. Gaia Pylon. Hmm. Okay. That's quick. Wait, what? Huh? Let's craft again. Let's see. I need a beacon in the middle. Like a normal vanilla beacon. Uh, my Terra Steel doesn't seem to be crafting. Nine iron blocks? Okay, so yeah, this would be a proper beacon. Oh, uh, why is my Terra Steel not working? I just want to make Terra Steel. Actually, so clueless.
Terrestrial agglomeration dial. Okay, do we have Gaia Ingus maybe? Gaia is pretty good. It needs Terra Steel. Great. Uh... Gaia Ingus for a lot of drink drop? Okay. <laughs> I'm actually so clueless with anything matching. Uh... This interface isn't even here. What? Hmm. 2048, 400. So that's gonna be quite a lot to deal with. Wait, no, the east, no? 400, wait, it has... Okay, um, what? Supposedly it is here. Um, black power assembler. Ah, okay, there's steel. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Maybe I'm just blind. Okay, so why is it not working? I have no idea how this thing even is. Okay, so this thing has blocking mode on. There's a gold stone in here. What? So now it works. Cobblestone was blocking it. And what? Maybe? Okay. Hell. We are now in an area with Gaia Palace and Quarries and Beacon in the middle. Uh, Botania Book. Schematic Projector. What? I shift click and it opens my wiki, huh? Okay, so 9 by 9 uh, it might just barely fit in here. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, let me just Google it real quick. How clueless can one man be? It's kind of got to be in three streams. <laughs> it was four days of uh, server time. And they had like 15 players in the start, so can't really compare. All right, does this look okay? Uh, should the beacon have a beam? Do you need the air access? There we go. Okay, um, if I click this with the Gaia ingot, do things happen? Oh, wait. Let's see what structure preview. How do I preview? Uh, Oh, this needs a proper floor. Ah. Okay, good to go somewhere else.
no just the place for this. Slide through the waterfall here. New. Right. You just oh right here. The most ridiculous basement you've ever seen. <laughs> All this is just so I could root some power for the space elevators. Uh, this looks like a good spot. Now, how does the structure PV work? At the page. Oh. Where it be? Uh, right. Mm. Have to search. Oh yeah. Oh no. I think. Lanius. Um. Actually, flawless. You don't need any knowledge for that page. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this before. Mm. Maybe you do. I can try it just by hand, maybe. Let me try it with a Terra Stellinga. Ah, that seems to be a bit cheaper. So, these blocks should be the Pylons, what I scatter. Hmm. Maybe there needs to be one block higher. The Alpha Monza page. I only know the portal all time, so I guess it is only knowledge. Oh, ah, uh, hello. Oh, I can then apply. Hello. Ow. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, intense. <laughs> Bruh. Stop. Stop. I, I guess I am in, invulnerable with the shield, but like... Come on. <laughs> Come here. What am I looking for here? Dice of Fate. Doesn't look like what I need. I guess I just wait until I get the thing. Ah, I need more mana crystals, damn it. But I have four tries, I can do that. Open the dice. Think of Odin. What does this do? 
<laughs> average deck player playing combat. <laughs> Look, I'm used to being able to automate combat, okay? Also, I have like 14 ranges, and only put like 3 so I can actually have FPS. I don't have a bad idea. One, two, three, oh. Ah, three, four, ah, ah. Okay. Now, we get punk, punish. Eye of the flugel. What is this trash? The Pinkinator? <laughs> what is this, Terraria? Oh man. Okay, one more. Ah, okay. Convenient. Did it just... It just ate my slot. Right. That's painful. Like, ah. So either way... Okay, so I guess either I have the... Wait, does this work? It does work. Either I have the Magnet, or I have my Ring of Lucky. Hmm. I'm going on any other slots, unfortunately. Okay. I guess I do still have my Magnet when it's in here. Alright, now how does this thing work? Never used it before. Mode switch key. I did nothing. Okay, let's see if we have any Tanya specific things. We can look at switch key. Let's put that to ah. Yeah, that works. The ring of selection. Backslash no. L no. E slash period. Period works maybe. All right. That did nothing. Oh, bring on. Breaking off. Mode switch key will shift. Okay, breaking is on. Now, how do you select? Oh. Okay. 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 Successfully period selection. I still shows it. What? Um, hmm? Why no work? Um, did this work? Uh, do I not understand how this thing is supposed to work? I have to shift it again in the first selection? Wait. Huh? 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 <laughs> oh no, this is the advanced memory card all over again. Like, I'm gonna spend 15 minutes trying to figure out how it works, not understanding anything, and then just clicks, and then I'm like, oh wait, this is so simple. <laughs> um... Let's actually clear this. Grab these three. I place something, nothing happens. Um
Oh wait, is the breaking like on? It's either breaking or placing, not both at the same time. Maybe. If breaking is off, so now it doesn't break everything. If I now clear the selection here of these two, oh, still nothing. Okay, let's try a more simple block. Nothing. Okay, I'm actually just clueless, or what's going on? Why is this supposed to work? Can this be placing things? Okay. Let's go back and finish the selection. Uh, okay, let's clear that. Select this and this and this, and we pick that. And now we can we'll do nothing. I could definitely selected something here. Breaking doesn't work, as expected. Oh, what is something else? Look at it. Would it be because I'm in a claim? Maybe? I'm not in a claim. Um. Is that mana? How the hell do I get mana? <laughs> do I need to get mana? I don't, I don't know. Every time Batania. Wait, is it mana tablet? Can I just order that? Okay, um, I suppose you need to charge this somehow. <laughs> First time doing magic, what is this? Magic in my tech mod pack? Blasphemy. Okay, how does this charge? That doesn't look like it's charging at all. Oh. What? Oh, okay. Uh no mana still. Is it mana pool? I just did. Oh there's a right ticket in there? No. This wand and switch mana pool mode? Wand. This function mode. Oh, oh no. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh, I broke it, I think. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> mm. Okay, so let's clear the selection here. Oh no, it's all broken. The pool does not know. Just click, huh? Oh, it's mana pool mode, huh? It's showing the tablet now. Oh, I guess I. Okay, that looks better. Pretty good. <laughs> I can figure out like completely novel ways of automating machines in ways nobody has ever seen, but I cannot figure out a single damn water pool. <laughs> oh man.
Well, it's doing things. And I have night vision on, so it looks weird. How long should I wait for this? Okay. Um, we try. Me clear. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Works. If I now enable breaking as well, I need to figure out how much this mana lasts for. Is there any indication? And of mana. So foolish. Okay. Uh, well, we have mana now. Let me just, I guess, fill this back up as much as I can. I think it's just blinding me. Okay, we can get rid of the selection here. I guess double clicking it uh, clears it as well. Looks like. Right, so we have Mana Tablet. Now let's go try it out in action. So doing magic. I needed this uh, Ring of Loki, okay. Anya is a tech mod. Ah, oh, yes. Everybody's a tech mod because it's written in a programming language. This place always takes so long to load, and I don't know why it's causing it. It might be the data banks, they are pretty NBT heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna tablet to go there, and I'm gonna grab the. Okay, let's try it with one memory card. I grab the 16th item slot, which should have number one. And now we check this. Which is, yeah, this is not configured properly. So we start from the bottom, I suppose. Select. Oh, uh, can I? Okay. I can select that side. What? Oh! <laughs> What's it doing? It's the superposition of three different shapes. What the hell? Anya is a Java mod. You are correct. It is indeed a Java mod. Okay, now I click here and it maybe saved something. Yes? No? Uh, okay, yeah, looks like it is correct now. So now if we click this. Uh, I don't like how many times it did that. One, two, wait. That's like ten times. It should be doing it five times. And that did work, yeah, but... Why does it say more times than I actually have things for? 
That's what I'm confused about. It occurs to me I really should have taken all the memory cards because now if I try to copy the settings, I think it's going to copy it from multiple places, maybe? Let me see what happens if I try copying it here. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, I think I'm going to have to get rid of the selection for the time being. All right. Well, that does help a little bit. OK, why are there items in here? Um, there shouldn't be any items in here. Oh, wait. Yes, there should. It's still making the damn golly friends. Five hours later. Also, did we finally get the Infinity Colost? Please tell me we got the Infinity Colost. Ah, yes, there we go. Finally. We have the 200 million. <laughs> it's already consumed 330 million of it. Now, what did we need this for? Uh, the lasers, right. I already completely forgot which laser I wanted to use. 65k UMV, maybe? Yeah, this looks familiar. Okay. Sources, targets. And I somehow need to get this around to the lasers. So we're going to need 1 million UMVs, I think, in parallel, even. So 65 goes into 1 million 16 times. We have a total of 32. Oh, 64 per layer. So that means we need to have four parallel lines to power it per layer. Oh man, that's going to be painful. That's four layers or one UXV, but we cannot afford the UXV. Hmm. Does it even fit? Does it make 200 million? Ah, uh, yeah, it makes 290. So I already accounted for the 60% yield. That's why I said 200 million. Okay, it's actually makes 124. All right. So it only consumed 3 million so far. Okay, so that should be plenty. Now, can we somehow. I guess if we have the laser coming in from here on like the middle part, then that's enough. As long as we can run two in parallel, which we can. We can actually run three in parallel even. Okay. So we can power this using ATs, very really nice. It does mean we need a ridiculous amount of one million amps as well. <laughs> so better are the dogs. Uh UX is just gonna happen. UMV is the thing. 512, maybe overkill, but oh god damn it. Okay. Fine, 128 it is. Please? No! Don't do this to me, HSS. Uh please! There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, my magnet isn't on. I ordered the targets, now I need these sources. Ah, it's so annoying. And now it lets me do it. I don't get it. All right, that's going to take a while. Like, thankfully, this is only space time for the most part. Also, that's going to take a while because the AELs are in use. So it has to first wait for the golly fragrance to finish. And then I need to somehow figure out the um, layout here. Hmm. Annoyingly, there's an even amount. I guess the optimal way here would be to kind of have the laser coming in in this um, midsection, so it's not in the way. But I need to make sure that the data hatches are not uh, there. 
and uh, kind of like have the load split out between two of the ATs. That way, it won't have any issues on like on the balance of things. Otherwise, one side will have seven, and one side will have nine, and the nine side will require three lines instead of just two. What is my math off? One million amp line is sixteen ATs. Ah, oh, not ATs, but ALs. There are sixty-four per per one. 32, yeah, so yeah, if you have 9 ATs, that would require 3 lasers, at least for the first step. I guess that's actually not a big problem. Hmm. We're not making USB wireless lasers because we cannot afford it. We don't have the universium. We're poor. Right? Does it cost universium, right? Pretty sure it does. There are no universum here. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. The, where's the yeah five million volt universum for one hatch? Yeah, no, no, not not, not happening. We need the UXV thing first. So I would like to first make the UXV uh, compass. When like why use UXV when you can do the same thing anyways with UMV? It's just uh, uh bump the voltage by four times. But the uh, amperage, I mean, it'd be a problem. All right, so what was I doing? Ah, I was doing the Ring of Loki shenanigans, and I got distracted. All right, this is all blank, and we go copy it. That's all. Of the Vashra. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, what? How? I just made a lot of space. Uh oh. <laughs> what? There was like 50 gigs when I started. What's going on? Is it recording directly to my boot drive? Oh no. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna hope it lasts. Uh, this will be fine. Yeah, looks good. Let's check the top layer as well. I need to get rid of the selection, I need to turn it off. Oh, right. Oh, true. Oh, huh. didn't think of that. Okay, this looks fine. Now we just do it on the other side as well. There we go. Now we need the fluids. So let's disable the ring. Ring of Loki off. Clear these. Grab the storage data on these. Save okay, settings. Starting from the controller side. I ring off Loki back on. Nice. Okay, yeah, I can see the perks of using a ring of Loki. <laughs> but the question is, how long will this mana last me? Mm, there's no indication of it, so I have to tell. Let's ring the Loki off. These are configured. What kind of specs do you need in order for your computer to cope with this kind of server? I think the specs are in the about section. Let's just scroll down a little bit. 
for both this server and my PC, I think. Right, what else do I need? I need the output. Can we get to the creative mana tablet? <laughs> uh, I don't even know how far we are from that. Probably not that far. But we don't have the black hole thing. This. I'm sure Rubik's could get it for me if I asked. Uh, right, I need to go take a picture of the output bus thing here. Copy this thing. All right, we're gonna flock it back on. I don't actually need these anymore. Get rid of the memory cards. Have some red cable, I need a cable anchor as well. I need a quartz fiber. Tunnel. Mm, what else? Um. Uh oh. The ring of lucky on or off? Off. Okay. I need a interface and a storage bus, I believe. All oh, right, I don't have water in my bird, so that's why I keep placing the cable. Right, this thing needs its uh, own controller. This is my edit to add the uh, output line for this, which I don't know why I didn't include in the original design. Okay, how did this work? Uh... I think I got it now. So ring will plug it back on. We place the cable anchor here. Now we go check that it worked on. Right. You know, plug it back on. <laughs> There's some space first. Oh wait, I, oh, it actually did place the anchor behind the block. Ah, cool. I good to know that works. I think there was a speci special patch done for the Ring of Lucky by Louis Saber to make it work with almost all E2 components. Seems to be the <laughs> biggest lover of uh, the Ring of Loki. Uh, right, toolbox. I need this. Castle roof. Now we should be able to build it. Bring off Loki back on. Place the Anchor here, which was already placed on other places. Just double check it's on. Yeah. Oh, uh, except this interface I do need to manually configure to not show on the terminals. Okay, storage bus, red cable, uh, quartz, controller. We have P2P. Two more anchors here. I believe anchor here and then the cable. 
Was it this build on all of them? It did not. Hmm. The controller didn't place properly. I wonder why. What? Ah, oh, fuck. This isn't right at all. Okay. Ah, uh, I need to manually hit. Hello, Death Trainer. Oh, it's because I placed two of the cable anchors, apparently. Ah, that's why. Where's my notification? Notification? Ah, uh, wait, what? Where? Stream notification? Do you not have the role in Discord? Just ping it. Okay, this really is screwed up somehow. Uh, oh, right, that needs to be the P, the P. And this needs to be named the output. Stream notification. Assuming you're talking about Twitch, that would be five and a half hours ago. So if you weren't online, I guess you would get it. Um. Estimation from Gate. Uh, probably a month or so. Depends on if other people are, other people than just me are gonna be playing. Mostly cloud, I would guess. But I think the main bottleneck is gonna be the university on my own, so that's why we need to focus on getting the Eye of Harmonies going. As then we can just let those run while we upgrade the infra for a few weeks. Okay, this looks correct. So here we just need to add the controller. P to P and three cable, and that should be fine. Name this thing as well. Still playing. Let's actually see the last scene. Pauline was here a few days ago with Rubik's, so they are still playing a little bit. Cloud hasn't been on in a few days. Matsuko hasn't been on in a few days, but yeah, these two are still somewhat actively playing. Um, Delano is playing when I play. But right now, Delano is away for a week, so we won't be seeing him for until next week at least. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Adam seems to have logged in at some point, but I would say six semi active people still. Oof, Colin hasn't been here in six months. <laughs> Oof. I'm starting to remember how this output worked. Why is it saying a number here? Don't tell me there's a durability on this. What? This is 50. Was it unbreakable before? Yeah, it still seems to be. At least didn't lose any durability when I used it, so I don't know what's going on. Alright, uh, I do need to remember to switch this interface that I cannot access. Uh, do not show on the terminals. Did I forget to do it on this side? I think I did. So, one more layer, I think. And then you can retry the ring of Loki. A few more layers. I think I screwed it up by adding the second cable anchor, which kind of broke everything. Uh, 
Oh, wait. I guess it doesn't really matter to have the storage bus on the uh, bi-directional mode. Let me go check on the other side if I change it all to only export. I did, yeah. Alright, let's do it here as well, just for consistency's sake. Even though it shouldn't matter at all. I might have some performance impact, not sure. Oh, this is just the controller still. It's so slow doing this. I have Harmony needs to refill it. <laughs> Single use I of Harmony available in UIB. Let's go. Oh, I don't actually remember if I discussed this on stream, but they added single use tools. After we found out you can use scenario by single use tools, and now they're an actual thing. <laughs> On a pattern, is that I have harm should be consumed? That would be so evil. You would have to enter quarry all the areas so much. Actually, I guess deep dark wouldn't be too bad. And yeah, this would be very trivial too. Automate, although they spell well, it does produce space time on its own, so not too bad. But like some of the planet dusts would be so painful, you would need to enter quarry the entire planet, especially because all planets that have dungeons use the dungeon bricks in their planet um, recipes. So you would have to <laughs> keep generating more and more dungeons to keep those things running for the uh, middle tiers. This sounds like pain. All right, I think this side is done. Yeah, it looks. Correct, okay. Let's hope the Ring of Locking works on this side. Even though I do still have to um, do some of the configurations, but that's fine. Okay, it's Ring of Locking. Enabled. Interface. Fill anchor. Controller. Tunnel. Is me holding shift maybe break, maybe breaking it? I'm not sure. Um, parts able. I'll place the storage process manually. Anchor, anchor. Cable, cable, cable. I hope that worked. It's slowly. <laughs> Okay, looks like it worked for everything but the cables, which I did too fast. That's fine. Totally fine. Alright. So, interface, hide, storage bus, insert. Um, I should take a cutting knife on my hotbar. Anything else on this layer? No. Oh, no. Yeah, this isn't too bad. But like, you got the rhythm for it. We did do a pretty large detour for the Gaia spirit. Probably would have been done otherwise, but I guess we do have the Ring of Loki for the future now, so it'll be worth it.
UX3 coal is done. Now you can run your UX3 blast furnace. And get your UX3 steel and UX3 ashes. Bonac right now for my furnace. Um, the ADLs. Like where all, all of our ADLs are doing the um, golly frame parts for the past like six hours. So they're still on them. Main issue right now. Resource wise, we. I think we're actually missing seaweed. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to have to add the. Um, what is it? The GT thing for seaweed, I think. We won't have enough otherwise. Also, are we even processing this? Yeah, we are. Okay, I think this is done. Yeah. Can I do all of them? I think so. All right. Uh, yeah, that was actually all. Let's uh, go and add the Zuhai. Just so we can accumulate some seaweed overnight. Actually, do we even have this zoo high in AE? If not, I'm gonna have to grab one. We have one here. Let's start the whole AL setup. The thing is, that actually wouldn't work uh, because the way it's set up, it uses the P2P channels pretty uh, exclusively. So you can't just stack it to do that as it copies the exact channel. Mm. I think one USB call is enough for the gate. Possibly. I mean, I have no idea how much stuff USB stuff the gate needs. Okay, I need anglotic casings. Is the hologram for this? Nine by three by nine, so we can have it here somewhere, maybe. What a multi. I oh, actually didn't have enough aquatic casings. Please craft quickly. I don't want to wait. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, never mind. That's pretty quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I saw 300 million. I'm like, that's going to take forever. Two seconds later. Eglin steel pattern seems to be the bottleneck here. Taking pretty long. <laughs> always, always um, okay, you can try to guess which one is faster. Waiting for the pattern, so insert or just canceling the crafts, making the pattern like sixteen thousand times bigger, and then reordering. I feel like here it would be almost faster to <laughs> just reorder. Eglin steel took so long to insert. OK, 
Okay, why is this taking so long? Also, Sunarium ingots uh, shouldn't be taking this long, I think. Unless the Mega EBF are bottlenecked. <laughs> Come on. Please, just work. I think the Sunarium ingots are going to be stuck in uh, EBF hell for the next 20 hours. Yeah, there you go. Um, I could go steal the aquatic casings, or I could place like 20 mufflers. <laughs> Let's do that, just for the meme. I think this works right. I just need ah uh, hatches here. Maintenance. I think I need the U one input bus for the circuits. We need energy hatch. Still two hatches U V. Ah uh, wait, this cannot take later, so we have to do. Uh, let's do wireless. Just for convenience. That's uh, 64 amp. That's too big. UMV wireless. Do we not have any UMV wireless? Oh no. Oh, do we wireless it is, I guess. Right, one more. We need ME Octopus. You form? Absolutely not. Ah, input touch. So I need a reservoir over here. You know? Nope. Uh, input boost, yes. Output boost, yes. Input touch, yes, energy touch, yes, maintenance touch, yes, muffler, yes. So, why no form? Oh, bag is made out of mufflers? It is, but that should be fine. Oh, wait. You know? There we go. Uh, okay, I'll uh, see with. See it, see it, see it. Fifteen. I'm not remembering what the name is for the A two block that uh, makes the singularities. Singularity something maybe? No. Ah, the name for it. Matter of consent. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Creative here. And this feeds everything but the. Can we put this to zero. Have the interface here. And this takes the seaweed. Insert only. Insert only. Right. Over engineering? <laughs> Wouldn't the void cell be even more over engineering because I have to format that? Like, this is the simplest way I can avoid everything except one thing, I feel.
I feel like this is gonna be more power though. Yeah, it's kind of slow. We need more power. <laughs> Most environmentally friendly fishing pond. <laughs> what the hell? PT plus plus machines. Oh man. I want to remove some. I would if I had any. Oh wait, they finished. Uh, can I maybe order some wireless UMVs real quick, like real super quick? Oh wait, this thing is going to use the ADLs, so it's gonna be stuck in ADL hell. Ah, fine. I guess I'll use cable. I don't even have anything. Why are we so poor? This is also gonna use the AALs. Uh, yes, it needs to make Pico circuits. God damn it. Is there no way I can power this? Where's the nearest wireless hatch I could yoink? Those look tasty. Look really tasty. Ugh, I could. I could. What are you processing? Uh, wait, what? What is it making? Oh, it's an output, but wait. It kind of looks like it's going to be fine if I link one hatch, right? What could go wrong? <laughs> I, I'm sure you won't miss it. What's the purple stuff down here? Oh, uh, hell. Um, he's totally still keeping up. No problems. You like? And this is what you call stealing. Did I turn into production? Yeah, I, th I, th kind of know, but it also seems to be keeping up with just one hatch. So. I think it's fine. All right. Work. Is the QFT keeping up? Uh, better be. Okay, this looks better. Uh, let's wait a little bit to see how much this makes. Normally it makes one at a time. So this might not even keep up. Actually, wait, what? It's like it shows three different th th things in there. Yeah, so it, hmm. Weird. Hmm. It doesn't look very promising. The extreme greenhouse seaweed? Hmm. Connect the output? Did I not? Oh, wait, I did not. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> that might help. All right. Ah. Uh, he one ten thousand. Let's go somewhere. Uh, 
I don't think this needs any uh, energy. Yeah, storage cell in it. You don't need a storage cell for it to accept things. It just straight up destroys things. You only need the uh, thing if you want things out of it. I'm pretty sure you don't need the cell. Might do it. Yeah. See? No need for the, the cell. Crash can is even worse because that's the, that thing can get stuck. And it can only avoid one stack per tick. So trash can it sucks. This is probably the most convenient way of getting rid of things because it straight up deletes it right away without without any configuration. Alright, see we the still not looking very good. Is you just even running? No. Um how do we make more seaweed? Harden. <laughs> oh man. I don't think you can grow this in the um in the pumps thing. Because you cannot make the seeds out of it. Wait. Wait. What? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Okay, let me try that. I don't think I've ever made seaweed seeds. I don't know. All right. Um, what do you have in you? We live. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's. Put you in input mode. Was actually, I guess we have two hundred fifty six slots. So wait, make more seaweed. Need more seaweed to make the seaweed. Um. Okay, let's just try with this. Ah, uh, right, it's in IC2 mode. So disable that. Disable that. It ate it all. Now we switch it to operating. Um. Is the output connected? Hmm. Okay, okay. Cannot see too far. Ah. It seems to be connected though. Unless this channel. Uh, okay, well, there's no channels. Where the hell does this go? What? Oh, spaghetti monster. Oh. What? Fuck. Okay, that's better. That's better. Let's add a few more. What voltage are these even running on? UHV. <laughs> How ancient is this? Okay, actually, we got this entire backside with it, I think. So, all of these are in IC2 mode. Uh, how many slots does it have? 46. How oh, weird. It just eats a random amount. I don't know. 
I take 28 more stacks. Stacks? Huh? Okay. Well, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Can take a few stacks. Is a bit wasteful. Oh, wait, did I put one of them on the output mode? No. As long as we can start accumulating seaweed, that's fine. So far, it looks like we're still consuming faster than we produce, so we can do one more. We really should have done this inside the network. Define. And that's definitely keeping up. Okay, I think we can get rid of the Zuhai. And hmm, I cannot have this be too fast, otherwise it's gonna clog up the entire A net. So I need to at least somehow try to balance the speeds. A slight overproduction, actually, maybe even slight underproduction is better than overproduction. So the machine stalls for maybe one once every hundred cycles or something. Just so we don't fill the entire network with seaweed. You want to sell for seaweed? That seems very unnecessary. <laughs> You're gonna put 15 sacks, it's just gonna kill the seed. Oh, right, I remember that change, right. Okay, well, yeah. 15, 15 stacks should still be fast enough. Also, uh, kind of surprised we found a use for that building. The, I didn't really think you would need those greenhouses at this point in the game, but I guess you do. All right, this is how I be going. Oh shit. Launch to the rescue. Perfect. Exactly the size you need. And the sea leaves? Yeah, that's I think why you had the running still. Oh yeah, one of the irradiated plates needs it for making the solar panels. Now, have we had any progress on the Eye of Harmony front? Uh, we have. We could actually make two more Eye of Harmonies, even. Hmm. I think. Yeah. Okay, so let me go grab something to eat again real quick. And then I'm gonna add two more IO Farmers at least. Maybe even more if they finish up. Because they're gonna be finishing the pieces every 20 minutes or so. So we might actually even be able to add like a third one or a fourth one. And then we should be able to order more before we leave for today. I really like this room. It's really cyberpunky. I'll be back in a five minutes or so.
I'm back. Let's see if we got any more Gallifrey parts. Hey, look at that. We did. <laughs> so we can make four more eye harness. Oh, nice. All right. Tactical AFK. Hmm. So four more. And this cave module like stop showing all the time. Oh, wait, wait, this is it? Oh, yeah, I just set it to be enabled. I see. So, actually, let's go look at the controller that shows which ones are not connected yet. Mark. Sleep. So I actually see something. We just balls in the night. Okay, hey, so the four we have perfectly fit in this. Then we have two more. Now well, we have four more that we need before we have to spam even more um, balls. Turn on power IO Harmonies full of tier eight parts. Well, tier nine, the highest part. Actually, all of our IO Harmonies are tier nine. There is no point doing anything else. Tier nine are the best, they should be. I have cage for 10 minutes, I've seen like time played, run invalidated. Have you seen Lin? That man has like half of his playtime AFK. Uh, Alright. So. Let's just start with by doing the entire next row. Why are the colors different? Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess the. If this is green, it means it's not built. Although, then why is this not green? Huh? Huh? Wait, this, this is built? This is half... <laughs> what? Did I half build this and then just stop? Oh wait, of course, I ran out of the blocks, that's why. Makes sense, okay. And... Now we can get rid of the Ring of Loki for the time being. Get rid of the selection first. Disable it just in case. It is cool. okay. Put this in backpack and I need the holograms first. The DPF builder used to make the uh, IF harmonies, I oh, yes. That's plus one. Oh, what? I need to go through through layers at once. All right. All right, controller, everything. There it is. Oh wait, <clears throat> it looks like we're actually out of those. I don't think we can make the third one. Oh, this is gonna try. Hmm, what am I missing? So 
looking pretty good though. Maybe? Just hope. No! We're out. How much are we missing? Ah, oh, it's like it's the last 10%. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Oh, hey, the first garbage cleaning of six hours. Damn. It's my. Oh, let's <laughs> see, drive is still holding. Hmm, so close. But, um, well, I guess we could wait a little bit to get the. In this. Wait. Hold up. Different time dilation field generator. Oh, <laughs> look at that timing. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we needed to finish up. Yeah, that's actually perfect. That might be enough to make the um the fourth one as well. Streaming under the discrete type of space. Thankfully the recording is being recorded to my D drive, so that shouldn't happen, hopefully. And also there's the swap file, which might uh, help a little bit as well. Wait, no, that's a, that's not how swap files work. Hold up. Let me actually check. Is the C drive being used as a swap file? No, memory is still fine. Actually, is it? Hold up. Committed 48 gigs, which means there's at least 16 gigs of swap being used. That's why the C drive filled up. Okay. I see, I see. It's filling up the drive? I don't know. <laughs> I assume it's the swap file. I don't have any other. Uh, explanation. Okay, that should be nice. You can see which ones are um, built from the green or blue kind of cross here. All of this is done. This is um, how, somewhat weirdly colored though. Wait, what? Is this not built properly? That seems to be fully built. Oh, right. Okay. And now it fixed itself. Hmm. Alright, but we can do this one. Or at least start. I think we have enough to make the entire thing, but. We see what we're doing. Alright, oh, I cannot see it with this uh, this terminal. What well, memory that wasted a two hour lecture of my life? <laughs> what do you mean, wasted? <laughs> Did you want to know what swap memory is? Or are you saying you already knew, but you had just had to go to the lecture, I guess? Well, this actually might be perfect. Because 10 is the amount of, of harmonies we had built, and this is the 10th, I think. 2, 5. No, this is the 9th. Hmm. So I suppose it is still making more gully frame parts. Uh oh. Uh... Yeah. We're out. It's done for. <laughs> okay. Good try. Uh, I'm to automate the four we did manage to make. Ah, uh, three. Three we managed to make. The astral array fabricators. Yeah, we have one astral array which makes the universium. There's no real point in having more than one because the. Well, I guess it's slightly more um, economical to have them like paralleled one or two times as it's not a perfect eight times increase every time. Um, but there's the astral arrays aren't that expensive compared to like the annoyance of having to build a new environment. So just adding more and more parallels to the one is a good idea. I think it's this one. Let me check. Yeah. It's a special automation, and we should see the astral arrays here. Yeah, we have only one right now. But we have added so many other harmonies today that I think we can add maybe two more here. I mean, we can afford it. Thanks, AE. Very stable. You know, if the PR is allowing compact fusion, these crafting buffers will go through. Uh, maybe? <laughs> I didn't know that PR existed. 
What does active crafting and fusion? I I do. I really do. Wait. How did what? Did this fall through solid floor? Huh? What's that? Okay, now the server realized. Wait, there's a floor there. <laughs> Alright. Um Wait, hold up, why is this so fast? Um, looks like our only paralyzed Eye of Harmony is actually making Stellar Matter instead of Anniversium. Mm. I suppose we don't need one at least, but looks like we need a second Eye of Harmony to make Anniversium in parallel. If you had one more, how much parameter you need? I don't know. I have not done the math, so be clueless. Can we afford two more astral arrays? The answer is no. Well, almost. Basically, can. Anyways, I think we need to select one of these to be the Universium Eye of Harmony. I'm kind of tempted to maybe have a, like a special Eye of Harmony somewhere, maybe like here, uh, just that for the Universium, because that's going to be like the primary one we want to look at anyways. Maybe I'll suggest that to Delano, see what he thinks. I feel like this would be the energy field, that grows the energy for that one Eye of Harmony over here or something. Because this area is kind of empty right now, so it, it would definitely use something. How many other harvests do you have? So let's count. We added nine more today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen. Although I still need to set up these eight. Oh well, I'll wait. Do you need Stellar in the Universium My Apartment is instead of Helium? Oh yeah, true. So we do need one to make large amounts of Stellar. That's why we probably have that, actually. I think we ran out of Stellar to make the um, Exotic Catalyst. Alright. Uh, we'll try again. I guess I'll do the same thing. So I'll set up this room first. Before anything else. We need decoders. We need Neutronium. Energy cells, interfaces, wireless, and conduits, probes. Hopefully, it's these two. Maybe. Very hard. I think I had it in here, but now I tossed it away. Right. This one. Ah, I also need the filters. And I need to bookmark this. Is this world at this part of setup? Honestly, yeah. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. It would save me some time. Like, <laughs> the creative energy cells are the only cost. And not like those cost anything anyways. So, where should we stand? Maybe the corner here? It's like the easiest spot to be in.
Yeah, okay, this that saves a lot of time. I guess I can post about away other things here. Please see a great gods. Hmm, could probably do all we have built so far. Uh be this one as well, I think. I don't know, actually, this is built. Or else this built? Yeah, they are. Hmm. Actually, gonna have to pay some balls soon. I think that's all. Then we grab the humongous parts. The reason I can I kind of do brackets here. Oh wait, I can't. Huh? I have to click into the field specifically for the brackets. There's a foot hatch, the bus. Uh, I need more wireless connectors. I think you should probably order some more. Some covered cables, smart cables. It be all. All right, the deep dark itself. Need four. That's pretty quick. I don't know what they what they did. Um, if there wasn't the humongous hatches, it's the only expensive part on this automation. And I guess a controller, but that's already placed. Uh, I don't know. Keep removing like excess amounts of these hatches for some reason. Or these uh casing. Why did I fuck this up once more? God damn it. Ugh, I lose all sense of orientation when I go in under here for some reason. It's pretty impressive how I managed to do that every single time almost. Maybe I should place the smart cables first, so that they can give me like an anchor to build around. Might be better. Try it on the other one. Oh. Wait. What? Oh. Huh? <laughs> I went up by one. Oops. Up by... Wait, how did I... It... I was here. And I somehow ended up being here. 
So I must have went north instead of west. I actually need an inbuilt GPS to navigate this field. Way too uniform. Like no landmarks to orientate yourself around. All right, those two smart tables really help. They actually like allow me to see what side I'm looking at. Uh, did I, I forgot the deep dark from one of them. I'll fix that. Again, I went out of the wrong direction. I'm going to look in some astral array math. I already did. Let me find it. I think I can get it real quick. Somewhere in here. No, that's... Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't find it. But I did do the Excel for that. I just don't remember the breakpoints anymore. Fortunate. Yeah, I do know it's not like linear. Uh, there are some breakpoints that you need to get. Uh, right, this thing needed the... I think this was the last one that was fully built. Nope, it's not. So... Honestly, I just really have the animation enabled on all of them, just so I know which ones are running and which are not. For example, this one is running, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now that the animation no longer destroys your FPS. Spreadsheet is LinkedIn PR that added it. Uh, I just made my own spreadsheet in like a few minutes uh, from the formula. So I thought I had an image of it in my Discord, but I couldn't find it. So somehow there is a fourth I of Harmony I built, I think. I don't know where it, where it went. Also, why don't we have any Gallifreyan parts? Hold up. Going on. Where did they go? Oh. So there is one full Eye of Harmony in the ME chest now. Ah. So I'm gonna have to go re retrieve that. Oh, let me just link up these. Real quick, as it's just a matter of adding the wireless connections. There we go. Pretty simple to hook up, after all.
Just casually adding like 50 trillion EU per tick in a few minutes. Wild. So now we need to go grab some more parts to finish this one. Actually, uh, it's probably easier for me to first do the automation under it because I have all the items in my inventory. Because then I can empty my inventory completely. While I'm opening the image list. Scaling, let's see. The only thing I care about is the parallel, pretty much. Because so the first one is efficient, then the next one is. There is a math. Hold up, let me. Seems wrong. How does it jump? Oh wait, actually, all right. I guess it can jump from eight to thirty-two if it kind of skips the sixteen part, all right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, having two would be pretty good. I guess yeah, two is the ideal. I would say maybe. I don't know actually because of the way it works. If you have two, you get 32, but if you want to have uh, 128, you would need four Eye of Harmonies with two Astral RACs. So, okay, it is more efficient to. Oh, wait, hold up. Does it actually go perfectly like that? Uh... No, okay, so it does, it, it gets more and more efficient the more you add by the looks of it. So it's always better to just keep spamming the astral arrays in a single eye of harmony. Okay, makes sense. Uh, what was I doing? Right, I was setting up the automation here. Not gonna form because it doesn't have the structure built. Right now, we can empty the inventory here. Uh, I could keep the wireless. Yeah, let's get to another part. How significant this cost of Astral Array compared to building more Eye of Harmony, though? Um, so, it costs roughly the same as one Eye of Harmony, a bit more. But because it doubles the amount um, for the cost of, for, like, for example, four, it's going to scale. After you get a few parallels, it's going to scale a lot faster than the cost of five harmonies. How much stellar do you need? I did, that wasn't that in the picture as well. Yeah, there's plasma required. But this plasma requirement, it doesn't scale in like any. Um, like it doesn't increase per recipe, so it's always a static amount. This plasma isn't too bad overall. Are we keepers of Astral Race? No, they're so new. I think they're like a few weeks old at this point. Uh... 
Also, I don't know if you need a wiki, right? It's all in the I library. Right there, all the formulas you need. Anyways, I needed to empty this. If I was smart, I would have kept all those hatches in my inventory so I can auto build it. Uh, and, it and now it finished the recipe. Oh, God damn it. Uh, just playing, playing myself all the time. Okay. Hold up, where did you place it? Oh no. Okay, it's here. We're fine, we're fine. I think there's a tier where success chance is high enough that it's plus positive. No, because the success chance never goes, like it goes lower and lower the more you tear it up. You can counteract it, but it actually gets closer, closer to zero instead of closer to 100. Actually, it's the D &D. Actually, let me see if I can find an eye farming recipe somewhere. Yeah, uh, tier zero recipe base rapid sense 100. Then you go to the dark, which is 55%. So you can only, well, you can get it to 100% if you have all the stabilization things, but then your recipe takes a few days to run. So you want to overclock it, well, not overclock, but use the things that reduce the recipe time, but that re reduces the chance. So and also the what is it? The yield. Uh, even if you can make it plasma positive, you lose all the point of paralyzing it. Pretty much, if you make it so slow that you don't gain any speed, so there's no real point in doing that. Also, you can just get enough plasma by running a low tier recipe, which is a lot easier. We're supposed to be able to provide almost stellar plasma. Yeah, yeah. So you're supposed to run a lower tier recipe because those are a lot faster in making stellar plasma. Um, because, for example, we are running the tier zero recipe, or tier one maybe, in one of our alpha armies, um, with parallels, and that thing only takes fifty seconds to run. While providing, um, I think it's like one fourth of the plasma of the deep dark recipe, while being like twenty five times faster. So it's that's pretty uh, quick way of getting it. Was this the one that was unbuilt? Yes. I don't have any of the holograms in my inventory. What? What do you mean you don't love? Huh? Is the pattern wrong? I understand. What do you mean we don't have enough? Not even not nearly enough. Uh, um, unless something ate all of that. Uh, annoying. Oh, shit. Right. Here. Yeah. It's in the interface in the main tower. Oof.
Is it the Blast Blast Flat Pair Recipe? No. Um, if you look at Eye of Harmony, the plasma consumption amount is dependent on the original uh, helium consumption. So the lower tier recipes, they consume one tenth of the helium and by proxy the plasma, uh, while pro providing like one fourth. So the ratio is much more favorable for those. There we go. Where are those nanites for? Nanites? Where are the nanites? This? Hunter crafting? Uh... Oh, I think it's just a test. Oh, nothing. <laughs> It almost feels like we could build one more Eye of Harmony, like from scratch. I'm gonna try that, I think. But this one was fully built, and we have this slot three. And we are fully fully saturated on this existing field. Yeah, do I need chain for lanthanides on the like pasta side or a uh, Samaria maybe? Okay, yeah, this looks new. Huh. I just service it. Wow, that's a lot of new recipes. Did this just have like two? Erbium with titium? Mild. God, the amount of chemistry. <laughs> Actually, we have QFTs and I just skip everything. <laughs> I'm part of this carpet tonight. <laughs> Hold up, so it's like high tier then. Okay, this felt illegally easy to finish. I think we can make uh, one more, right? Yeah, there's one more controller. So apparently, we can make one more Eye of Harmony, uh, but we don't have spots for it. Hmm. I guess I'll leave that for tomorrow. Yeah, nice. I should use this same thing to get all the hatches. Uh, this is only missing the connectors now. Oh, and I think the deep dark block itself as well.
Hmm. Are these two not connected then? Wait. They're running. Huh? Hold up. Oh no. I think Cloud didn't understand my system. Yeah, look at that. This is supposed to go like here. Oh no. Cloud, why did you do this? Ah, it's linked at the... Bruh. How more obvious can, you, can I be? <laughs> ah. My design genius avoided cloud entirely. Uh, this needs to be dark. Enable, and this should start running. There we go. And that's all of them running, except for the one we could build but don't have space for. Although, oh wait, did I not enable the animations here? Or maybe I just didn't finish the cycle yet. Ah, just didn't enable animations. Okay. Ooh, wait, what? Can you be running? Because I just enabled you. Hmm. I just. Did I just link this? Did, did I also link it to the wrong one? Ah, oh, crap. I think I did. <sighs> drawing. Actually drawing. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I think because... This one was linked to the wrong one. I got lost. Ah, sh crap. It doesn't really matter which ones are linked and which ones are not, as long as the amounts match. So, either I rework like four linkages, or I just screw it and take the uh, connection from here. <laughs> Hello, money. Hello, Thomas. Okay, whatever. I'll just take the link from here. Cloud broke it. It's Cloud's fault. I can make him fix it. I have no idea what Colin did to make the thing not laggy. Like, it doesn't affect my FPS at all. Crazy. Well, and maybe that's a little bit um, too much because I only have 30 FPS here, but still. It used to be like 10 FPS, now it's 30. It's a lot of Eye of the Universe, I have Harmony, and yeah, that's like maybe one-fifth of what we need. <laughs> Still a long way to go to fill this field. Right, this thing is on, this thing is off. Oh no, this is you know, out of sync, so this first um, first cycle is going to be bad. I don't know, as long as it's running. Okay, why are you not running? Or is this animation disabled? Yeah. And zero person, zero person. Yeah, unfortunate. It is what it is.
the fragment power slip. Yes. Well, actually, all of the tier 9 ones produce the same amount of power. Uh, that's that's a lie. The deep fry produces like 1%, uh, like 1 less power, I think. Because if we look at the recipes here, deep dark has EU output of 745, while the others have, uh, if I can find them. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. So EU input is two peta EU larger. There's a very minuscule amount of energy you lose when you run the deep dark compared to the um, other tier nines. But you anyways want to do the deep dark because it gives you all the plasmas you need to do the stellar um, exotic catalyst. What is this stellar catalyst? Uh, Whatever you need to run the DTPFs. That's why everyone does the deep dark or resources as well as power. Anyways, I think I enabled animations with everything. Okay, my scroll wheel seems to be breaking down. What the hell? It's like it's not registering. Oh no, is my mouse dying? Don't do this. Well, anyways, uh, is this enabled yet? This entire row seems to be disabled on animations. Okay, now we should have gotten all of them. Yeah. So many black balls. Right. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna probably spread the field out a little bit more, considering we already filled this entire thing. So that means we have what? 5, 8, 12. 16, 20, I have harmonies. Pretty good. Considering we had like 8. Wait, no, we had to have more than 8. I only made uh, 10 today. So we had to have 10 when I started. So basically, more than doubled our power production. Not bad. Now, the question is can I order a few more Eye of Harmonies before I leave? Because those should finish roughly in about 16 hours or so. So we could do them tomorrow straight away. Although we do have the ALs to do. These are done. Laser engravers are being the bottleneck here. Oh, but no, it's actually waiting on the ALs to free up to make the opticals. Or your astral race from Universium? Uh, hmm. Possibly? Yeah. That too. All right. The one that the thing we we're only missing a few seaweed things for. How much is that enough? Let's see, two more astral arrays. Yeah. Well, if this didn't happen, it's wild how fast this simulates. So like, what? That, that took less than two seconds to make this entire crash. That's wild. <laughs> Holy. All right, that's gonna clock the entire base for the next uh, 24 hours or so. You're playing with your friends? Yeah, we have like a lot of, well, at least six active, active people still. Uh, we have a dedicated server host from Hetzner. So we actually sublease the CPU for other servers as well. So basically we have our server and then we have four other servers running on the same CPU. And that almost covers the entire cost of the server. So it's basically free to, for us to run the server. Right. Uh, hmm. Is there anything else I need to do today? Um. Why are advanced digital box being so slow? Oh, that's why. Because laser engravers are horribly slow. But the way I doubled the amount. We have like five hundred of them running at UXV. What the fuck? Self-hosted in the basement. <laughs> if I had a basement. <laughs>
I could actually self-host it if I had a separate server PC, but I don't. My internet is good enough for that. Although I would have to pay the electricity price myself. Uh, right, I was going to the laser engravers, not the space elevators. It's so, <laughs> so easy to miss the laser engraver because it's so hidden on the minimap. Like it's, you can barely tell this little curve here very well, um, well hidden in the environment. Why does everything look so good during the sunset? <laughs> it's is very useful, you are missing out. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately apartment complexes usually have, uh, usually don't have basements for tenants, at least for like normal use. They're usually uh, shelters or like storage areas. Of course it started to rain when I wanted to look at the <laughs> beautiful sunset. Damn it. I guess you can sleep and look at the beautiful sunrise instead. I was going to ask how those animated particles are made. <laughs> Everything animated you see is a uh, particle generated from draconic evolution. I just love how the nature um, kind of integrates these buildings into the terrain. Like so many of the builds are so much better because we are in the overworld. Like imagine this build inside the void world. It would be so boring. It's just like a tower with a few rings maybe on it. But now it's actually kind of part of the landscape. And then people start to argue with me that uh, like the personal dimensions are better than overworld. Like <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Oh, good. Ah, yes. We still have to make the mega um, node here. <laughs> this would be a shame to not use this room for the node. So good as well. It's like 20 volts, like a good looking one. Well, we're kind of cheating and using Amplified with climate control. So um, we're using mods instead of going into normal vanilla generation. Or not or vanilla, but no, no, like vanilla rec tech. We also removed all the Arctic, um, Arctic biomes because those look kind of crap. That helped a lot to make the terrain look nicer. I kept getting ugly biomes. Yeah, so I just removed the ugly biomes. Easy. Hmm, this area could use something. What could be put here? I got a nice little lobby. Machine, maybe? I don't know. Gaia Arena. I think it fits. Well, anyways, it is 11 p.m. and I've been streaming for seven hours, so I think I'm gonna head off for today. Pretty good progress. Upgraded some things, started preparing for the AAL upgrades. Now we just need to wait for these lasers to finish and then we can actually hook those up tomorrow, hopefully. I'll be streaming tomorrow as well, although a bit later. I think I need to go to the gym first. Uh, so I'll be on about, at about 6 p.m. my time. I think, which is four hours later than usual, but we shall continue tomorrow. Let's see, do we have anyone to raid? Mm -hmm. Ate is playing, but he's playing Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> I, he did play a New Horizons yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. We have Jihe Rex, we could raid maybe. Sure. Let's go there and I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Bye.